Okay, everything looks good now. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're all set up. So once again, I kind of just put a hair elastic on the controller to kind of hold down speed up to see if we can get the, the 50 hour playtime pack. I have no idea if it's actually going to unlock, but let's find out. This is like stream seven of this game. It's still been a lot of fun. You guys really enjoy it, and so do I. Hold up. First, I need to see if I actually got it. I'm starting to wonder if it, like, caps your playtime, or maybe it doesn't increase the timer while you're not moving around. So I don't know if Speed Up is actually going to let me unlock it. Let's find out. Oh! There it is. This is a little something from Sadie. Why is it sold out? I unlocked it. W what's going on? Um, can someone please explain to me? Why I can't buy it? That That is a little bit upsetting. Please don't tell me I have to fulfill the other condition. Sadie has to be the one selling it. Oh, so I have to come back the next day when they alternate. Okay. Well, that's okay, I guess. Let's get a sandwich for Jesse, then. There's some really arbitrary rules to buying card packs in this game, isn't there? Yeah, I think he likes this one. Let's give him that. Okay. One more sandwich for the road. We'll see if the gold one's there. I'm trying to make progress. Doesn't look like it. Jesse will eat just about anything. I think the only thing I've seen him hate is the, um, the Destiny sandwich. That costs a lot, though, to do get going. Okay. There's you, and then there's Rio. I don't remember what he had, but you know what? Let's do a tag duel. Do I want a duel? Let's... Oh. Okay, then. I guess I'm dueling. The timing on some of those menus feels weird. Yeah, that's right. I'll blame that. Sadie's special pack has Ring of Destruction as the cover. Yes, it does. Let's do it. No Jesse for this one, but honestly, it's probably better I warm up with my own cards. How's the audio? Still good? I'm really paranoid. Now that I know that my microphone reset itself for, like, a chunk of last week. For now, we can just go ahead and set you. We're getting warmed up, everybody. Warmed up. I hope you're all doing great. I'm feeling pretty good now. I needed a little bit of a break before I started for today. Honestly, though, um, I kind of was, wasn't sure what I wanted to even play. You see, yesterday we finished two entire playthroughs. Little Goody Two-Shoes and Mario RPG. Ah, wall of revealing light. There it is. Hold up. Well, now I can't attack, so I guess that's the end of the turn. However, I can go ahead and pop that. Let's do this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to play something new today or just focus on ongoing stuff. But then I also realized that maybe it's probably better for everyone if I kind of, like, just focus on the ongoing stuff and make a schedule at the end of the week. Okay, flip this up. We're going to activate the effect of this. Hold up. And we can also activate this thing. Hold up. Wait, wait, hold this thought. Um, I better get rid of this thing because of its effect, actually. Perfect. I have been posting a schedule to the Discord, but I mostly don't really put the exact games there lately. Okay, we'll put you. I just kind of put the days I'm streaming because I haven't had time to, like, make the graphic... Then I've gotten to thinking about stuff like, I want to play a Castlevania Circle of the Moon rando. I wanted to do Resident Evil playthroughs on invisible enemy mode. And I'm just like, do I really want to do that like, like as a surprise stream or should I plan that ahead? Because I feel like that's the type of thing I should put on a schedule, not just do it the last second. Um, I feel like I can just burn Lightning Vortex because this thing is going to recruit, but I could also wait a turn because he's got the cage up anyway. So let's just set and wait. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah, I, it wasn't the fact that I wasn't sure what to play each day. I just wasn't sure how to plan the week out ahead, especially when Small Ant asked me to be a part of the escape room. That kind of really threw my schedule out of whack for a bit, didn't it? Perfect. Mm. Wait one more turn. See if he puts another thing in face up. Perfect. Oh. Well, that's annoying. 
This is okay. We'll put the, activate the effect. Wait, what am I doing? There's no reason to do this. Jesse's not here. Force of habit. Okay, flipped his stuff down. However, we can lightning vortex this crap. Do this. Hmm. I don't think I have enough crystal beast to summon um a Hamilton there. Okay. So we can just use it as discard fodder to get rid of the rat so it doesn't recruit. Okay, now we'll put down Luster Dragon, and we'll see if we can attack just fine. Perfect. Stealth Bird's annoying, I w I know, and I want it. Is recording all right? Yeah, it's recording just fine, thanks for asking. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, that's me sometimes. I just feel like I want to play a whole bunch of different things, and then I, and then I feel down because there's not enough time in the day or the week to do it. I'm like, man, can I just magically poof in another four to five hours today so I can do a Castlevania rando? But I know I won't have the energy. Okay, let's go with this. It's Giant Rat. Okay, this is all he's got. We should be okay. Boop him for 100. He summons another thing. Cryo Sphinx. Hold up, what's this got? When a monster returned from the field to the owner's hand, sends one card to the graveyard. Alright, this is fine. Not exactly the thing you want to bring out with Giant Rat, buddy. Hmm. Could just clone myself and stream multiple games at the same time. Unfortunately, streamers don't have that kind of money, contrary to popular belief. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, swords. That's annoying. Well, I guess I could special summon you, but I might as well wait in case he plays, like, a, his own lightning vortex or some crap. Let's do this. Oh, hang on. This could work. This thing is a winged beast as well, so I can pop it for that. Yeah, let's just put it on the field. Banish a wind monster, put Garuda on the field. Got one. The swords are about to run out now anyway, so maybe I should just, um... Well, that's annoying. Hold up. Turn one monster your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. Okay. It's just Icarus attack now. The swords are gonna run out on their own, so I feel like maybe I should just pop one of his random face downs with the monster. Let's do that. What was it? Judge of Anubis. Okay, that didn't really matter. Oh, nice. To put down Ryza now and pop another one of his cards. No, it'll go to the top of the deck, so we could just go ahead and get one of the back row. I could attack for game if I pick swords, but if he flips something up to negate me, he's just gonna activate swords again, which is gonna suck. You know what I mean? So let's just do this. Wait for the swords to go. You never know what could happen. It's Yu-Gi-Oh for crying out loud. Remember the Paradox Duel? People love the Paradox Duel. We'll set this, and we're gonna go for game now. People loved that Par the Paradox Brothers had no idea what the heck they were doing. It was amazing. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I told you that might happen. Well, should've summoned that extra monster, but I thought it was safer not to. Hmm... Thanks for the sub there, Ramira. Appreciate it. Just over a year of bears. Hmm. Yeah, the translators didn't want to, want them to rhyme. It's annoying. Excellent. They didn't read their own signature cards. That's right. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to pop one of them. We should be okay. I hope. Actually, yeah, I could do that to play it extra safe now. His Luster Dragon can finish him off. 
Let's do it. Get rid of you. Then we're gonna pop these two cards. Okay. Pop those. Rise this effect activates. And now the field is wide open. Hold up, what cards did I destroy again? Another Judge of Anubis. It was called a Haunted. Okay, that was good. Good. You know for sure he was gonna bring something back there. Man, this guy's so annoying. He's only a Slifer Red, but he's got that annoying, like, flip effect thing going on. Aw, oh, man, you beat me. Darn, you're strong. We did it. No, I did it, Jesse. Come on. Um, haven't fought their new version. Oh, it's Yan. Yan's the one with that fairy deck, right? With the sanctuary. Yeah, let's, let's do a tag duel. Why not? Let's do it. Are there large differences between this and the first game? Uh, more cards mainly, but it's mostly an asset flip. There's also season two and three characters now. Perfect. And Stratos for elemental heroes. That's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Excellent. But I don't know, chat. What do you think about me doing another Castlevania rando? I did one a few weeks ago because I haven't played Castlevania stuff in a while. I always feel bad that I can't keep up enough variety, but I try and do too much variety. I would be bored if I was one of those streamers that played the same game every day, every week. I would, I would start to hate it. Excellent. Okay, good job, Jesse. Ugh. Yep, that's Yan, all right. I know I already played Resident Evil Remake, like, Jill and Chris hard mode, of, like, the other month. And I did a randomizer of Jill in the same game a couple weeks ago. But the other day, I was watching a streamer play, uh, play RE Remake for the first time. And they were having such a good time, and it made me want to play it again. And it's just like, I want to try the invisible enemy mode. Because I can actually beat that fairly decently well. And it's one of those things that most people hear about, and they're like, no, it's impossible. And I'm like, no, no, it's just a memorization game. Just casually memorize the location of every zombie in the game, and, and then being invisible isn't so hard. You know. Hang on, trap hole. Yep, only RE1 Remake has that mode. It makes every zombie in the game invisible, with some exceptions. Like, you can still- they show up in mirrors for some reason. Oh, hey, no matter the situation. MST, there we go. Wait, we have a monster active. Oh, it couldn't complete its activation, so it doesn't have the immunity. I see, I see. What's funny, though, is that um, if you use a defense dagger on a, a zombie in that game, on invisible enemy mode, you can actually see the dagger stuck in their head, so it's just randomly floating. Excellent. Pop that. What was it? Okay. I guess I gave him life points, but who cares? Hmm. Neither player can offer any monsters as tribute under any conditions. So, no matter the situation, these are stuck in my hand. Let's put this down. There's some exceptions to it. Yeah, you can see um, their reflections in some rooms. And some rooms, like the, the basement, which is soaking wet, you can see some puddles on the ground, and you can see the reflections in, in that, which is a cool detail. Dogs, you can actually still see the drool falling from their mouth, so that's not a big deal at all. Hang on, I need a drink already. Throat's a little dry. Oh, much better. Sometimes you just need to down a cold drink while you're streaming. I think we got him. No, not nearly enough, but still got him good. Hit him. Mm hmm. 600. I love Resident Evil 1 Remake. That is such a fun game that I could play forever. I was kind of thinking... I kind of treat some Resident Evil games as a one-and-done stream thing, don't I? I really should just, like, play them a bunch of times when I feel like it, because those streams are fun. Mm. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we win. Unless that's... Oh, you're gonna bring him out, huh? 
Well, we can just do this. How about that, buddy? Perfect. Hmm. Now, don't flip anything up. And that's an easy tag duel one right there. Pretty much what we're doing now is we're hoarding points for more sandwiches and buying the Sadie pack. I can probably make my burn deck today. Well, see ya. Perfect. I really have also been put off, um, putting off playing Resident Evil 2 Remake again. A part of me was thinking that I wanted to practice it before I stream it, because I used to be able to, be, like, have the whole game memorized, but I feel like it would also be more fun if I go into it with my memory skewed a bit, because you, you guys probably want me to suffer when Mr. X chases me. You don't want me to just memorize how to deal with him, because then you won't even have to deal with him. You'd rather see him just pop in, my, pop in front of my face chasing me. Try the volcano. Okay. Let's do this. Nobody is here today. Holy moly. Let's look around. Oh, I like the DS port of, uh, the, of the first RE1, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, it's Duel you. No, no, come back. The best part about the DS version of um, Resident Evil 1 is the fact that it's the only version, aside from the PC port, that lets you skip the door animations. That is such a godsend right there. Um, hit first. No, the best part about the, uh, the DS port of RE1 is the fact that they made a separate mode for touchscreen gimmicks. Capcom was smart enough to realize that people would hate it if you had to do touchscreen puzzles, so you could play the original game as is with the quality of life improvements, or you could play a touchscreen minigame one, which is pretty cool. Ugh. You don't want to play that mode because it didn't age well for emulators. Like, there's a minigame where you have to save Richard, you have to give him, like, CPR, and you have to blow into the DS microphone, and it's so crusty. Hang on, let's hammer shot you. Yeah. Um. Only one thing back there, so we should be okay. Man, all I have is this. I. Mm, I don't want him to attack me. I want to save this, right? So let's use Trap Hole to stop him. And hope this works. Oh. Well, okay then. I'm gonna boop your other one, though. How about that? Peepin. Get him. Do I want to set another one to the field? Nah, we're good. He's got Karate Man. And now Karate Man is dead. Fall down the hole. Okay, Jesse, show him what you got. Crystal Promise. Jesse's deck is alright. We got to the point where we could edit it a little bit. I gave him his own copy of Hamilton. That's how you know we're besties. 1600, then pop him for 1700. I also did want to play RE2 again. Like, the original one, not just the remake. Because last time I played it, I did Leon A, Claire B. And now I want to play it again, doing Claire A, Leon B. Um... I suppose I may as well just burn my Heavy Storm here. Ooh, nice. He had an MST. Um, we could easily use United We Stand now. If Jesse doesn't be a dum dumb and use it, use Penguin on himself. Let's do this. Give it to the Tiger, because the Tiger gets a buff. Let's do this. Yeah, an extra attack buff when it hits a monster. He doesn't get the boost when he attacks directly. Perfect. Other RE stuff I did was, I played Resident Evil 3, the OG one, that was fun. Yeah, we call Haman Hamilton here, it's fun, it's funny. I think that's because someone in chat auto had auto-corrected to that. Smashing ground, uh-oh. Um, yeah, we can do that. Combo fighter. Ooh, so sorry. 
Um, I mean, I guess we might as well... Oh, wait. Right. Forgot, you can't select Penguin when he's being destroyed. My bad. Excellent. Dude, I love Resident Evil games a lot. <laughs> I kind of don't play them as often as I, I should sometimes. I squeezed in that randomizer the other week, though, and that was a lot of fun. I'm glad it went well, because those can softlock sometimes still. Okay. Your buddy calls him Lightning Ham. No, oh, that's also good. Okay. Everyone has their level 2 deck now. That's why they all have question marks, even though I've beaten them. I can't get to that guy. He's... Block, like, blocked in flying fairies. What are you doing here? Prowler. And she's at that. Looks like Blair's deck didn't upgrade. Hmm. Oh, Resident Evil playthroughs actually do okay on YouTube sometimes. It's just the fact that, like, it's normally, like, the initial playthrough where I do the story stuff. No, no one wants to watch me replay it for the third time with, like, the, um with, like, a difficulty adjuster or something, even though I want to. That's fine. There's still plenty I haven't really streamed, like, zero. Um, check out the cliff at night, maybe? Hey, there's Wisteria. And Hayden. Hey, look, it's the loser herself. Ha! You make me laugh. Get ready to lose. Tag duel. Let's do it. You'll watch me play anything? Darn right you would. Dude, I really want to do some more Silent Hill. I did want to replay the Silent Hill trilogy on hard mode. Mostly because last year's uh, Silent Hill 3 playthrough got, like, it kept getting claimed, so I had to keep muting chunks of it, and that pissed me off. Perfect. Activate that. Set that down, and we flippin'. Last Silent Hill I did was Shattered Memories on the Wii. That was a few months back. I had a lot of fun with that playthrough. It's a very different Silent Hill game. Uh, let's see. Not really a survival horror game, I would say. But definitely was a lot of fun to me. Um, we could go Big Bang on this guy to beat over him. Or I could sacrifice his turtle. Hmm... Pop this back to her hand, or sorry, her deck, and then just beat over this guy, actually. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, well, I'm glad you like the videos, friends. I appreciate it. Perfect. You know, sometimes, because this is my job now, I do get a little focused on per on VOD performance more than, more than I like to admit. But, I do still appreciate that y'all still come and watch me all the time. Hold up. Now let's put this on you. Let me see. At the end of the day, this should be fun, or it's not really worth doing. Perfect. 1400. Excellent. Hmm. I think if every stream was just Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd do that for a few years, and then I'd post my retirement video. Oh, I'm so glad I have Dust Tornado. Work stretch, yes I should. Stretching is good. I've kind of missed a few gym days because of the snowstorm, so my back is a little shrimpy. So it's good to be make me stretch. Yes, it is. Okay, Jesse, you can do this. I gave you the piercing damage, so you can beat over that. Eighteen hundred. Not to mention, I've said it a lot during Yu-Gi-Oh, but you really can't predict the algorithm. I can't pr predict the fact that me play playing repetitive card games for four hours at a time would be the mo best performing thing on the channel right now, but that's just how it is. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, he got himself the 2800, matching my Ryza. Crystal Raigeki... Wait, what? Did Jesse set this on his turn, or did he just not use it? Because I should be able to use this now, right? Or he would have... Wait, no. He should have been able to use this on on her turn. Does Jesse's AI not know how to use this? Does he prioritize keeping these here? Because, um... He can pretty easily break this thing. 
You love the repetitive gameplay? Well, don't worry, it's fine. For everything I say that sounds like a complaint, I'm just glad that people enjoy watching it. Whether you're a commenter or a chatter or a lurker, that's fine. I know there's plenty of people that have been watching for years that have never left a single comment, and that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna pop this. Okay, two cards gone. And... This thing has no protection, right? Oh, right. It hits Hand of Neptus. Perfect. Shout out to the Lurker Bears. Well then. I guess we win. Teddy's win again. Okay, perfect. That was you, but now you post your first comment. See that, chat? You just be the, just bait the engagement, and you get it. <laughs> now I sound like scum. We haven't gotten 20 spell cards in a duel yet. Ha, ah, someone like you had no chance. Better learn the basics. Yeah, so apparently Wisteria is glitched, and her victory and losing dialogue is reversed. So when you absolutely beat her, she acts like a brat. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. Now yeah, then... Truly and Kadim, Kadim, however the hell you want to say that. I have no idea. Let's do a tag duel on these guys. I mean, I don't want to change the deck specifically just for one achievement unless I have all the pieces, right? Like, I don't want to go for the Gate Guardian achievement unless I can make a Gate Guardian deck. I'm kind of just picking random things that might happen along the way. Because really, the bonus you get for fulfilling an achievement is pretty negligible. The time it would take you to navigate and choose something on the menu can just do a regular duel. Nice. That turtle is pretty good. For us, anyway. Okay. Rock bombardment. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, don't... Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought he was discarding for a moment. Let me double-check this. During your opponent's standby phase, randomly select one card in your opponent's hand and look at it at the cost of... Oh, that's all it does? Okay, I thought that was a different card. Never mind. Directly from your hand to the graveyard, so that doesn't matter. Do I want to put my entire back row down? The other guy's a blue student. He could be packing Mirror Force. Or, sorry, not Mirror Force. Heavy Storm. I'll put two down and save my Mirror Force, because we have Turtle down for now. I could immediately just throw down Ryza, pop this, and just attack him. If he wants to pay 500 li life points to look at Hamilton, I don't care. I'm pretty certain that the AI in this game can't even, like, do anything with that information, right? Like, we've all seen this AI in action, right? Do you really think it's going to see Mirror Force in my in my hand and be like, oh, maybe I won't attack? Like, no, you know it's ex they're going to attack anyway. Okay, send this to the top of the deck. And now we attack. Let's do it. Oh, oh pardon me. I'm pretty sure it makes zero, literally no difference. Paradox Brothers literally saw their own card on my field and didn't know what to do about it. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Maybe I should have sent Mirror Force. I was worried about the Heavy Storm. Didn't want all my eggs in that basket. Well then. Jesse, I guess it's up to you to fix this one. Pokemon Stadium AI is way better than this. Pokemon Stadium AI is scary. How good they made it. still a miracle I was able to take down that one guy's freaking Mew, because I had to manipulate his switches. Yeah, the Paradox Brothers gave me their card and then self-destructed it. Man, do I wish I put that down. Okay, not activating inspection. Well, I guess I have to hammer shot now. At least Snatch Deal's effect softened the blow. Oh, wait! I totally forgot I could combo these together. Even though it just got destroyed on... Sent from the field to the graveyard. 
Oh, okay, I thought it was only to my graveyard on my side of the field, but this works fine. Yeah, sure, let's do this. And now we'll set this, and we'll hit him with the Sonic Duck. The Sonic Duck, who's got the bucket on his head. Let's give him a hit. 1700. Perfect. On the subject of horror games again, though, um, I really wanted to play Silent Hill Homecoming, but I hear that the PC version is utter garbage on Steam. Like, Dylan streamed it very early on when he began doing streams, right? And he told me that he had to jump through, like, a thousand hoops of, like, fan patches and stuff just to get it to work. Uh, I know that game's not exactly the most well-received one, but I did still want to play it. Okay, we got to attack directly there. That's good. What is this thing? Oh, right. Yeah, okay, that's why. And Downpour is only on 360 PS3, so I don't really have any way to record it. Kind of a shame. I wonder if, like, uh, emulation's at the point where you could probably get that going. I mean, I know I could, like, buy a new Xbox and you can put 360 discs in it, right? But I don't want to buy a, a whole frickin' new console just for one game stream. I, that thing would just, like, sit in my closet forever until I do it again. I don't think there's anything else I'd buy it for. Um, it's late at night. Check the harbor. Go, go, go. What are you two doing? On a date? Oh, it's Disa. Chat, I'm scared. Look, look at it. Look at my win-loss ratio to Disa. That's why I'm scared of her. Rent a console? Do they even still do that? That sounds like too much of a hassle to do in this day and age. It's not like they do it at, like, you can't just go down to the video store anymore and do it. Um, let's tag duel them, why don't we? Excellent. Okay, Ray, what do you got? I need a drink. Down the hall. Um, I'm pretty sure when Jesse got to four or five hearts, everybody got their level two deck. That's what people were saying last time. Okay, by the way, on the subject of Silent Hill, have you guys paid any attention to that, um... Can we even call- we're not even gonna call it a game. Uh, Silent Hill Ascension, that's what it's called, right? Like, I have been seeing the internet tear that to shreds for the past few weeks, and every time I see anything of it, I'm like, my god, what were they thinking? It's- yeah, it's a- it's an interactive, like, TV show that's streamed, and it has a battle pass. And it's like... <laughs> they banned the word Kojima from chat. Of course they did. Of course they did. That's really salty. Oh, man. Let me see now. One of the things I, I've seen people making fun of is, like, there's, like, this really kind of insensitive, like, sticker you can unlock on the battle pass, and it's, like, rainbow-colored or something like that. Ooh. Ascension is entertainingly bad, though. Okay. But here's the thing. Apparently, like, it's one of those things where everybody can, like, put money into it to influence decisions, but it's just a few whales that make everything happen, right? Yeah, that one. It sounds terrible. Like a terrible idea. Excellent. They banned people from posting the word scam. <laughs> of course they did. Oh, that's great. They have that other one in development, though. I think it's being written by the guy who made, like, the Higurashi games. I've never played played those, but I heard people are excited on that alone. Let me see. Although I don't really know how it's Silent Hill, because it looks like it's a Japanese game that takes place in a Japanese town. So I guess we'll see what the hell that is. I'm open to new stuff happening, but my goodness, like... I always find it funny that I got really into Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Castlevania and Silent Hill as an adult 
pretty much after the time everyone started hating Konami. So I never got to experience their golden years. I just got to um, experience their downfall. I, I just like jumped on the slide halfway through and I'm just going wee as I go down. Pardon me, I had like a hiccup when I wanted to say wee. And it sounded like a flub, didn't it? Anyways, let's attack and watch him flip things up. Um, hold up a second. Hmm. His hand removed from play instead. Um. You know, I guess I could do that. I don't. I'm not. I don't need Hamilton. So let's do this. Uh, all right. Ouch. The decisions in Silent Hill Ascension just change a couple of lines of inconsequential dialogue. Oh, so it's just like a Telltale game, but worse. Oh, boy. Well, that didn't break him, but Luster Dragon can. Nice. Some of the Telltale workers worked on it. Oh, <laughs> really? See, I understand why people like Telltale stuff when it was new, because it seemed kind of neat, but... As it went on, I, I seen that people really didn't like them because it seemed like everything they released was exactly the same. People caught on to it. I remember the one Telltale game that I really went through was like the Batman one. And it was one of those things where like every decision just didn't matter. Like it barely affected anything. It was everything is just set up to make you feel guilty for no reason to make it sound like you had a choice, but you really don't. Okay. Not to mention, like, the tone of the Batman one was kind of very all over the place, in my opinion. Looks like we can't do much. For example, there's a scene in the Batman Telltale game where, um... You're, like, inter interrogating a guy as Batman, and you have the option to break his arm, or almost break his arm. And if you do that, in the next scene, you have, like... Alfred talking to Bruce Wayne. He's being like, oh my god, Bruce, you could have killed that guy. What's wrong with you? You you shouldn't cross that line. In the literal next scene, Batman is throwing, like, batarangs into people's throats. Like, they just fall over, and it's like, they did not get knocked out. What are you talking about? Oh, he's got no monsters. I can't activate this. Never mind. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And then the next, like, later, in a later scene after that, there's a part where someone breaks into the, the Bruce Wayne mansion, and Alfred just, just literally just kills them with a shotgun. And I'm like, Alfred, excuse me? Like, w w did you not have the moral high ground a little while ago? It's like, it. they don't even acknowledge the fact that you just straight up, like, people die when Batman do is not supposed to do that, and they're pretending that Batman still doesn't do that. You know, it, it bothered me a lot. Oh man, looks like I lost. Let's duel again. Yeah, we did it. I also had a funny glitch happen where there was a scene where Batman's talking to like an officer and Batman's model didn't load in. So the entire serious scene, Batman was just invisible while everyone stared into nothing and I was laughing my ass off. Telltale stopped having enough time to cover up how inconsequential that your choices were. Uh, that makes sense. I heard that they were pretty strict on time towards, like, their shutdown. Where it was like, they were, like, shut down and then they came back. Oh, what's this? I bought this and I thought it, it might have a card you want in it. Rip it open and let's see. He bought me trading cards? Awesome. Miracle Restoring. Hannibal Necromancer. Dark Magician Knight. Magician of Black Chaos. Silent Magician 4, Secrets of the Gallant, Gallant, Aquamador, Laughing Flower, Emblem of the Awakening, Just a Break. Okay, the gamey stuff. Look at that. Let me see here. Um, Right, we need to go see if we can buy the cool thing. Let's do it. Batman is all over the place, but the Telltale one... The Telltale one wanted to pretend that Batman was against killing, but then they just cut to a scene where he's literally just... He literally just gets people killed. Oh, did I miss a cat? I didn't even see it. Oh, well. Oh, Dorothy's still here. Damn it, we can't buy it. Come on. 
All right, then. Buy a couple sandwiches. I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow to try again. Cold sandwich? Nope. Carrot sandwich. Hello, friend. Welcome. No, I don't want the ring. I want the skull invitation that's in the Sadie pack. I want to burn stuff, though. It'll be fun. Well, it's the only one we get. Hey, let's go to class. No. I'm never going to class. You can't make me. Now the cat was here, was it? Is it still here? Hold up. Because I didn't see where... It wasn't in my room, was it? No, maybe he's gone now. Okay. Oh, you two are hanging out. What are you doing? Super strength? Probably shouldn't bother him. We can hang out in the Chaz's room. Everybody's just hanging out here now. What are you doing? Dante, Kami. You know what? Let's let's go for these two. Why not? We'll probably get bodied, but it'll be okay. I'm the best role model. Skip class and play card games. She's still standing on the card. Taunting me. I'll go to sleep and she'll be staring through my window, still standing on the card. Ugh. I don't like the idea of people staring at me. Which is weird to say as a streamer, but... When I think about it, I think about this one, like, scary story I heard a narration for, like, uh, a couple years ago. How did this one go again? I remember that, like... There was, like, the... These people, they were... How the story went, it's work of fiction. It, they claimed it was real, I don't believe them, but... It was like there was a school somewhere that has like a mo sort of a monument inside where there's a bunch of like uh, mannequins to kind of like fill in all the school chairs to kind of represent like a disaster that happened. And the story was about like a group of people who were exploring the school and on their way out, they noticed that all the mannequins had their heads to turned towards the, the doors as they were leaving. And the, the thought of picturing that in my head just sent chills down my spine because, oh, that sounds unnerving. I mean, I'm making it sound basic, of course, but like, you know, in the context of a story where there's all the description and all that, good God, it's unsettling to think about. Anyways, enough stalling. Let me just break this thing. Ugh. I think at the end, it was implied some of them were moving, but I don't know. I don't remember how the rest of it went. Mannequins are creepy. Many people find mannequins unsettling because they look human-shaped, but they're not quite. Kind of like an uncan uncanny valley type thing? I don't know. Do I want to do this to protect you? I could always just use Icarus Attack to pop a field instead, so I'm just going to do this, actually. And you know what I could do is I could just set Lightning Vortex. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job of explaining the story. I'm just trying to also, like, think about card game decisions at the same time. It's very hard to do, I know. Alrighty. Like, they could move and grab you at any second. You got 1900. Yeah, we're gonna use Icarus Attack now, and we're gonna pop the Field Spell and that monster. Also, hello, friend. I was in the middle of telling my story. No, I didn't say hello. Boop. Boop. Excellent. Oh, boy. Mannequins can be creepy. Torrential tributes. Oh, gosh, dang. Ugh. Also, yeah, Jesse summoned Hamilton. a boy. That's why coil heads are, are spooky and lethal company. Those things killed me when I played with Dylan. Did they... Wait, did, did they just steal Hamilton? Oh, um, my... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Deja vu. 
Well, uh, I guess we have to lightning vortex. You don't have a immunity to this, right? Yeah, yeah, isn't that great? I don't have MST, but I'm gonna have to lightning vortex. Um, this is a problem though. I don't have anything I can really play. Hmm. Do I get rid of my equip? Maybe I could put the equip down for Jesse and just get rid of this, because I don't have anything that can be destroyed. And he'll put the beast in the back row anyway, so... On the off chance, I can summon Ryza. Okay. It's over, eh? Not with that attitude, don't worry. You may have stolen Hamilton, but it's okay. We're still alive. It's all up to Jesse, though. Oh wait, you get to attack twice? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. That was a very specific effect that they had just in time. I knew my flame would outlast you. See ya. Gosh golly. Well, at least we got hard points. We gotta look in the positives. Sacred Beast got no immunities. Yeah, that's why they can just be stolen. Oh, nice. Look at my DP. It's all one, 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 one. See who's hanging out in the rooms. How about that? What are y'all doing in here? So weird how everybody is just randomized. You get, like, teachers in people's bedrooms. It's creepy. How about this one? I'm pretty sure the cat is just fully randomized on its location. There's nothing you can really do except hope you find it. Oh, what are you two doing in here? Jim Crocodile Cook and Axel Brody. I've beaten him before. Let me check in here. Let me see here. Time to unite. Reason to live. I've already beaten their level two decks. Let's look elsewhere. Hello, friend. Welcome. Um, check out the girls' dorm, I guess. Usually the cat was in consistent locations for Tag Force 1, but then randomly it just stopped showing up. And I had to, like, hunt down a guide as to where the hell it disappeared to. Walter. Okay, haven't dueled them, or their level 2 decks, so why not? Remove that question mark from them, I guess. Axel was, like, there for one duel, right? He used the volcano cards, and he tried to murder Cyrus for some reason. It's like, you know Jaden, that character that famously wants to duel everyone at all times? Well, he kidnapped Cyrus and threatened to kill him if Jaden didn't um, duel him. So uh, I, I think Axel just really wanted to take out Cyrus. I don't believe he needed to convince Jaden to duel him at all. Yu-Gi-Oh! is weird like that. Hey, do you want to play a game? Hey, you will play a game, pulls out gun. <laughs> That's how Yu-Gi-Oh! villains work. Hey, Dr. No! Almost never draw him anymore. Um, this is kind of worthless right now, because Crystal Beast. Mirror Force. Um... Don't want the whole field locked down, so let's do this first. I never read the Yu-Gi-Oh! mangas. I do want to sometime, especially the the, the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! before it was about card games. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess we know what to hit, though. Um, I should probably get rid of Gravity Bind, as, as much of the Spellbinding Circle sucks. Do I want to set? Actually, you know what? If they're going to beat over Harpy Queen, we may as well set this, then. Well, then. Maybe I... It wouldn't have mattered if I set no, because I had to wait a turn anyway. That really sucks. That really, really does suck, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Yeah, put him in the back. We got Heavy Stormed right there. He drew a Hamilton. 
At least the Spellbinding Circle went away, but it's not going to matter much, is it? Ah, oh, damn. Sometimes all it takes is just one Heavy Storm, and you can't recover from that. That's why Heavy Storm was limited to one, because, man, I could imagine at three, a game the game would have been miserable back then. Um, I mean, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. It feels like no matter what they do, everyone says it's miserable anyway. At all times in its life. I guess we can set no. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we do need to pop this, but hang on a second. Its effect doesn't really matter much for me. I guess I'll have to give up my monster, and then we can flip Eagle to attack mode for it, I suppose, because I need that thing gone. Yu-Gi-Oh! players just love suffering. Probably. Listen, every video game, especially if it's popular, you hear non-stop about people say how much it sucks. I have 10,000 hours into this game, and it sucks. Let me tell you why. Or they play it for one hour, and then they say it sucks. That's how it goes. That's like every big JRPG now. Every big R JRPG that's 100 hours long is you either have people who play it... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say yes. They play it 10,000 times and they tell you why it's bad, or they played the first hour of it and they tell you it's overrated. Let's do it. There's no in-between. The in-between is the people who just like stuff and don't complain about it all day. Um, well, this is pretty bad. We're kind of dead, aren't we? He called a haunt at that thing after I popped its summon. Ooh, Jesse bought us some time, but not enough. Yeah, we probably lost this, unfortunately. We got one more turn. Destiny draw, let's go. I got the catapult. <laughs> um, this thing's level four. <sighs> Damn it. I'm gonna hope he goes for like a tribute play or something like that. Okay. Monster is special summon from your graveyard. You can draw one card from your deck. Let's see, it counters not to player an attack. Okay, we're gonna catapult you. However, you haven't used your normal summon, so you'll probably be able to put it back down, which sucks. But I need to stop you from attacking me. Jesse, I need you the destiny draw now. Carbuncle! Oh, hang on. Damn. Couldn't special summon it. Wait, he can... Wait, no! Hang on! He Oh, he can play Hamilton! I could... Oh, no, we can't! He's... It's not... We're not gonna make it to his turn. Oh, no! If he could... If it could just somehow get Hamilton out. If he somehow doesn't draw any monsters... These two cannot finish me off. Hold up, hold up. Let's find out what happens. Oh my god, hang on. We might have a chance. This could be the comeback of a lifetime. Wall of Revealing Light is there, though. Marshmallow in attack mode. Or sorry, face up. Go on. Yeah, Jesse. Look at him go. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that was amazing. Good job, Jesse. He actually did a good. That was some anime garbage right there. That was perfect. Why we call him on Hamilton? I, because someone in chat ty tried to type it, and I think they auto-corrected to Hamilton. So we just call I just call it that now, I'd say. Jesse deserves a sandwich after that. Like, atta boy. That was... You can't tell me that putting Hamilton in his deck was a bad idea now. That was literally perfect. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. That was sick. <laughs> that was disgusting on their end, though. They'd be so mad. You'd be surprised how many Yu-Gi-Oh card nicknames come from typos or autocorrect. 
I get you. When you have enough hearts with your partner, you can edit their deck slightly. There's some cards you can't change at all or take out, but for the most part, I just splashed into Hamilton and he can use that. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get 20 spell cards played. Yeah. Uh, let's give our boy a sandwich after that. Hydration. Heck yeah, let's hydrate. Spicy curry. Yeah, have it. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Who else is here? It's Kura and Rie. We haven't dueled their level 2 decks, so why not? Maybe we should just max out Jesse's current heart so we could go for the gold sandwich tomorrow. Yep, I did a quick little hydrate. Excellent. Oh, pardon me. A Bugs World 2, the Metals 2. Starting deck. I like how his deck is just called Partner Deck, because I edited it. You can't call it Better Crystal Beast. Because you can't admit when I make good jo good uh, good decisions. Oh, that's unfortunate. Fiend Sanctuary. At least I made them waste their Heavy Storm on that. Well then. We've got this. We got that. Hmm. Don't have to worry about Heavy Storm now. At least from one of the players. Token Receive... Controller... Sorry. Excess damage against the controller from battle with this token is received by your opponent instead. Pay a thousand life points in your standby phase or the token's destroyed. Okay. I mean, it'd only take a little bit if I popped into him then. I don't want him using that. Better to take the damage than to leave him a body. Hit him. 1800. I don't care. Ah, there we go. I said 800 at first, didn't I? I don't think you can really do tokens here. And my name isn't Pika Spray, good friend. There we go. I will be called Pika Spray to the end of time. Oh, man eater bug. Everyone thinks that E before the Y is a mist is a typo. No, I know you're probably memeing. But some people don't. Hang on. Oh, that thing. Metal armored bug. I don't recognize that thing. Level 8? Is that one of those crusty cards that never got translated? Excellent. Um. Excellent. Hmm. Give it a Ninken Dog, why don't we? Because the tiger gets the buff when he attacks. And we'll pop this. Hmm. We don't need to use Icarus Attack yet. Now we can also throw this down because we just removed the dog from play. There we go. Oh no, you're fine, friend. I'm just kidding. I'm just making fun of the people that think I'm spelling my own name wrong. Excellent. Um... Yeah, let me just use the tiger since his buff is only on monster attacks. Oh, okay. Easy. There we go. Everyone thinks I'm named after Pikachu. Little do they know that the pick in my name comes from Pikmin. It's actually Pikmin Asprey. <laughs> they just don't get it. They assume too much. No, I didn't finish him off. He still has a little bit left. Well, I guess Jesse could probably do this now. You think your Switch is listening to the conversation? It started suggesting you Batman games. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Am I joking? You may never know. Hang on. Doomdozer. Yeah, we can just mirror force and take him out. Perfect. 
And that's right, because I'm a yellow Pikmin, that means I'm immune to electri electricity. Oh, okay, that's fine. Honestly, it's safer to do that. Now finish him off. Excellent. 713. Perfect. Man, I lost. I guess my deck needs work. Let's duel again and take it a little easier on me next time. Okay, we got more hearts for that. What about you? I have not dueled you once, and you only once. I need a, a win against, uh, ew. I'm busy looking for girls. Let's make it quick. Come on, let's duel. Excellent. Perfect. At this point, I can just invent whatever channel lore I want because no one will ever get it right. That's what I've learned. At this point, there's also no even- there's no reason to even change my username anyway. I've already got that branding. I will stick with it until I die now. The funny little username that I came up with when I was in high school. Yeah, he was the dude that has the charmers and, and hanged around the girls' dorm in Tag Force 1. He plays the waifu cards. Hold up now. Do I want to heavy storm these two cards in the back? Hmm, Jesse's gonna put stuff down next time anyway. You know what? I am. Watch me. Watch me be scum. <laughs> okay. Okay, bro. What else did I get rid of there? And ceasefire. Eh, whatever. Go put down Harpy Queen. And... No, not that. I'm trying to piss off. I'm trying to use many of these. Gimboop. Yeah, I can't attack his Waboku. That just hit me a second ago that he activated it before I destroyed it, but I'm attacking anyway. I mean, this is also, in this day and age, all the cool usernames on the internet are taken. You kind of have to take what you can get now. That's why I use part of my actual name for my username. There you go. Not to mention, I don't know, I don't really want a generic, generic one. I feel like back in the 2012, 2013 days, everybody just had like the most generic video gamer name ever. Like, hey everybody, it's me. James Games. I'm James, and I play games. I need to apologize if there really is a guy called James Games, because I feel like there has to be. There probably is. <laughs> I remember once I made a similar joke and about a guy named Nintendru, and it turns out there actually is a channel called Nintendru, I think. <laughs> Oops. I don't think they even know I exist, though, so who cares? Anyway... Shadow Blade for 2069. I think that one's probably taken. Shadow Blade uh, for 2070 is probably available, though. Hang on. Um, he got 1500. Oh, he's Gemini. Hold up. What does he got again? This is a great to draw one card. Oh, yep. Gemini effects are so funny, aren't they? Let's go ahead and summon Ryza, and we'll pop one of the cards in the back row and just beat over him now. Twister. Well, he really wanted that eagle gone. Old usernames used to be really funny, weren't they? Hang on. I'm gonna just hit you. Doesn't really matter too much. We're not gonna beat him this turn. And he can't flip up anything else. His waifu cards stand no chance against us. There is a YouTube channel called James Games. Okay, well. James Games is probably gonna send me a very nasty DM or a call-up post on Twitter when I'm done streaming. Or he probably will not care, because who cares? Excellent. Excellent. Whirlwind Prophecy. There you go. Look at all those stuff right there. 
Um, I think we kind of just win, don't we? Not a whole lot really happened for this one. I guess I'll go ahead and put this in attack mode, but... Yeah, I could use Crystal Raigeki and just uh, pop the monster in case it's a flip effect, because I'm pretty sure the face downs do nothing right now. Crystal Raigeki is pretty decent, but it doesn't seem like Jesse's AI even acknowledges it. Maybe he doesn't view trading one card. Oh, did I pit? I hit the MST instead of the monster. Silly me. I accidentally hit up. Okay. James Games is too important to care about some niche Twitch Pokemon streamer. Oh, God, you're right. Excellent. Let's go. Hey, we win. Probably should have went for a little overkill damage, but that's okay. That's okay. We got our one against this. How could I lose to you? I can't lose to a guy. Next time we duel, bring a cute girl with you. Good golly. Who do you like better, Dark Magician Girl or Injection Fairy Lily? Anyway, if a female spirit appears, let me know, okay? This dialogue is literally copy and pasted from Tag Force 1, and it's still cringy. Anyway, if you see a ghost and she happens to be a lady, make sure to get some feet pics for me, okay? You make sure you call me right away. He's very creepy. If I duel... Yeah, I just dueled you. You were in the other one. Um... Guess we'll just get the sandwich here. Does he say anything different if your partner's a girl? Do you really think the devs put in the effort for that? I don't think they did. Steak sandwich. Let's just get his heart to the max here, why don't we? And then get a new event for tomorrow. Oh, I saw a gold one there, but... It's literally almost full anyway. Is it filled now? Probably we do some more dueling. Uh, how about the boys' dorm? Now nah, we go there a lot at night. Let's check the beach at night. Six Samurai and Gillian. Let's just beat them up right quick. Or actually, first let's see if there's someone we haven't beaten. Disa, get away from me. We don't we don't cross paths with Disa right now. Okay, did one with you. You know what, let's duel you guys then. This guy caused a, a tie before with Ring of Destruction. Maybe tomorrow Sadie will actually be at the counter and we can actually buy stuff. Damn, it's been over an hour. And we still haven't seen Sadie. Cool. First to go. There's a game store in Ohio called James Games. Well, there's another Twitter account that's probably going to be very upset with me after today. See, it's such a very common name. Of course, multiple people have used it. But if you look online, there's no one else called Picaspery. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, I've had a few instances where people go on Pokemon Showdown with my username, pretending to be me. Seriously, that has happened a few times. I'll get, like, messaged by these people being like, Hey, did I actually talk to you, or is this an impersonator? I'm like, no, that wasn't me. That, that dude's just a weirdo. <laughs> Imagine spending hours online pretending to be a YouTuber. That's weird, man. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, you can't recruit if I do this, so let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Oh, yeah, people also do that a lot for YouTubers in general. Hang on. I'm gonna put down Cybertech Alligator. Let's see here. Um, for YouTubers, um, what happens is people will make, like, a fake email pretending to be a YouTuber, and they send out a bunch of emails to indie devs asking for free game keys, and most people don't fall for it, but sometimes they do, and it's, it's dumb. It's annoying. I get messaged all the time by indie devs asking me, hey, is this actually you asking for a game key? <laughs> and I have to be like, no, that's just some random ass, don't give them anything. 
Do I want to go all in with United We Stands? I kind of do, and I will. Let's do it. Perfect. Let's hit him. Go flip. Oh, nice. We're good. Excellent. Because of that, I've gotten a few messages from devs that I never expected to even, like, acknowledge my existence. Like, the the My Friendly Neighborhood dev reached out to me, and I'm like, oh, that's that was random to get messaged by him. Unfortunately, you know, it was because someone was trying to get a free copy of um, My Friendly Neighborhood. You see. Boop. Good game. Once I can finally edit that part that uh, causes copyright issues, I'd love to share it with YouTube as well. It's just... A massive VOD I need to let render, and I have no time. Oh, boy. I finally sat down and got Mega Man 4 edited, though. Had to deal with all those flashing effects, so people don't get, like, a freaking seizure while they watch it. Um, maybe I... Do I want to put this down? You know what? I will. These can be flipped up when needed. Crystal Beast, Morphin Jar. Get that. You just watch that. Well, you should watch it on the YouTube VODs, but I can't complain because it's been stuck in the Twitch VODs forever. Excellent. excellent. All right, Jesse, refresh your hand. Get some monsters. Perfect. Shrink. Well, a little bit of damage on that. But now Cybertech Alligator has a crap ton of freaking attack power. I really need to pull another copy of Ryza and just replace the Alligator with that. There's no reason not to just exchange it for another Ryza. Perfect. I said it before. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said it multiple Yu-Gi-Oh streams ago. But I love playing indie horror games, but they always give they always give me the worst issues when I try to upload them. You see. Hmm. Let me see here. 1200, 400, Should be fine anyway with Turtle up front. Let's do this. Yeah, they always give me issues, but I love playing them. Even if it takes like over a month to get it like ep uh, edited where it finally passes the copyright check, I'll, I'll still keep trying. I'll do it for however many people want to watch it. Do it for the background noise for someone's afternoon. Just barely enough. Sick. Oh, perfect. 654. Duelist bonus. I lost that one. You're good. I'll give you that. I didn't hear the jingle. Does that mean he's full? Should be. There's nothing on the map. I think it has to be daytime. Gotta get to work. Alright, catch you later, friend. Have a good one. Save data. Let's see. Let's make a quick save. By the way, to give you a quick idea of um how much of an asset flip this game is, I'll show this again if you missed it before. If you go to end game, notice how it says in the middle there, saving can be done via the map. That's something you could only do in Tag Force 1. They removed it in Tag Force 2, but they didn't update this line of text. That's how much they copy and pasted from this game. Uh, for the la from the last one, I should say. It's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. Um, Haven't dueled Andrea. I could start now. Sure, I'll do my best. Duel girl, win card game. Lose, win. Excellent. It's lazy, yes it is. There we go. Lazy, or maybe they gave the devs like a week to make the game. You never know. I never really liked the term of people saying all devs are lazy now. Like... The, I'm pretty sure everyone that makes games didn't collectively just become lazy. I'm pretty sure the people at the top just, like, give them less money and less time to do anything. And that's why everything releases unfinished. Excellent. 
I have no idea if Tag Force 3 fixed that text, because I've only I've only played up to two now. Do they have less than a year to dump this out? Probably. Let me see. Hmm. I could heavy storm, because of this here, this means ruins wouldn't get destroyed. I don't have Hamilton, so I'm not going to worry about that anyway. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice. Dust Tornado was there. So let's do this. And I could just put Ryza on the field and pop you back to there and hit you for a chunk of damage. And you know what I'll also do? I'll set this so Jesse could maybe use it next turn. Summon Ryza. Let's see. Do I want to equip it just for extra damage now? I don't need the piercing effect, but I want the extra damage because I'm a greedy little moomin. 2800. About to get punched, Andrea. Here we go. You have $50 in one week to make a sequel. Heck yeah. Smashing ground! How dare you. How could you? Well, I'm taking one of your back row with me. Dust Tornado. There is no target. Rush recklessly. Surprised you got that. Mm, let's see if you can do it. Okay, we might be able to keep poking you for game. Three face downs, huh? Ooh, okay. We can put Old Man No down. We can set the Penguin, which will probably help Jesse out later. Ah, Sakuretsu armor. Put him in the back. Jesse, it's all up to you. I have no hand left. The Crystal Promise. Put the Mammoth back. He's flipping the penguin, and he's taking my penguin. And now he's summoning a mammoth. Ooh, can you do it? Yes, you can. Oh, wait, no, this is just barely not going to... Ah, oh, they're going to live with 100 points. Do not pull an anime. Do not pull an anime on me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well, this isn't going to get used, is it? Um... Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> Why not? Put that back to the top of your deck. We won't know what it is. If I had sparks, I could win. Yeah, you're right. I could win if I had sparks. No, no, we're not paying half our life points. We will if this interrupts me. Damn right. No damage. Perfect victory. 792. Look at that. I lost. I'll have to try harder next time. I'd really like if we could duel again. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, his hearts are definitely maxed out. We may as well save, go to bed, then tomorrow we can buy the Sadie pack. I hope. I think it's random who works the counter. And then, um... Hmm. I guess we could probably do a new event, right? You're not tired? I'm calling it a night. See you tomorrow. Thursday. Oh, cat. Lately after dueling, I feel drained. How about you? Jaden and everyone else said so too. I wonder what it could be. Uh, but I should leave this for now because I already have max hearts. There's nothing to gain by getting it right. I don't know if it'll still be there later, but we'll see. Okay, let's go see what's on the overworld for me. To the forest. We're gonna go play in the power lines. Ah, what the? Ah! Asprey, help me, help me! Oh, sorry about that. Alligators are dangerous. Watch her better. Sorry, Shirley here has been acting strange since yesterday. There's a strong magnetic pulse coming from somewhere in the island. Magnetic pulses make reptiles switch to their natural fighting instinct. Ha ha ha. Did you understand any of that? 
Nope, not at all. Hey guys, do you feel drained after dueling lately? Maybe it has something to do with the magnetic pulse Jim's talking about. Surely, what's wrong? Gurk. Oh no, not this part. Here we go, everybody. It's time for Hassleberry to have one of his his little episodes. What's wrong, Tyranno? Does this pulse affect humans too? His dino DNA must be reacting to it. Yeah, since they put a dino bone in him when he broke his leg, we all know that didn't happen. It's just a story he made up. I do not believe it. <sighs> they put a dino bone in him when he broke his leg, and somehow he didn't die of infection. An archaeologist like me should be able to stop Dino Boy here. Okay, good timing. Let's have a tag duel. The magnetic pulse is connected to dueling. Maybe we'll figure out the link. None of this makes any sense. Come on, Dino Boy, this way. Gar, roar! I'm a dinosaur. Do something to me. Looks like it's duelist. Uh, the duelist in you is still there after all. Let's do this, Asprey. No holding back. Hassleberry has logged into his Dino Roleplay account. <laughs> oh. So now we're doing a tag duel, because it has to be a tag duel. Gar! <laughs> oh boy. Imagine Hassleberry telling his story to, like, anyone in the medical field. They'd be like, get out, you're crazy. He's like, ooh, woo, I'm a real dinosaur. It's no, you're not, Hassleberry. Stop it. You're not. Hassleberry's backstory is that, like, he broke his leg, and um, in order to save him, they used a nearby dinosaur bone at an archaeology site in order to replace his, di his leg bone. And it's like, no, they didn't. That is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> That would do more damage to him than just leaving his leg broken. I, it's so silly. Every time I hear it, I'm just like, no. Even for Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I refuse. Refuse to believe how stupid that is. Anyways, decrease the attack of this card by 600 points during each of your end phases. Damn. Already pretty weak, huh? So the problem... Do I go right for it? I could MST one of them first. Oh, swords. It's pretty good to hit that while it was face down. Um, I'll put no down. Do I want to refresh my hand, or do I want to go for the duck? Putting this back to his hand would be bad for me, so I'm just going to go with duck first. I mean, it's not even a bone anymore. It's, it's, a, it's a rock, right? Like, it's fossilized. Ring of Destruction. How dare you. How dare you, Hassleberry. Excellent. Do you think if Hassleberry is... Oh, hang on. Do I want to protect these? It's not worth that amount of life points right now, so I'll say no. We'll be okay. Oh. Well then. Excellent. This is a problem now, yeah. We can instantly retry this duel if we, st if we die. It's fine. Oh, when we do when we do um, tag dueling with Hassleberry, I'm gonna make a dedicated Dino deck, and I'm gonna be tearing that boy to shreds. Whenever I think of people being possessed by spirits, I remember this old YouTube video I saw that was about this priest who um, offered his services to um, exercise people over Skype video calls, and in. It was like a real news report. And, uh, gosh, what else happened in it? They did a live recording of one of his, uh, exorcisms. And it was one of the cringiest things I ever saw. It was like, it looked like some, like, uh, some man child in his 20s who was wearing, like, this bad vampire makeup. And he was very clearly, like, 
trying so hard to pretend to be possessed by a ghost and the priest was looking into the camera being like back demon back while holding out his like rosary or whatever and it like i'm like really this is news now <laughs> It's like, is anybody taking this seriously? <laughs> oh god, thinking about it again has me chuckling. Oh. Uh... Yo, you want to get exercised? Um, uh, add me on Skype. There we go. He's down 800. We should be okay now. Hmm. I want to do that, so we'll just use Sonic Duck. I remember, I think one of the things the guy said when the news reporter was asking him, what, why, what do you think about people who think this is fake? And he said something along, along the lines of, who would make this up? It's like, why would they do that? It's like, you think, who would do that? Who would make up something on the internet to, <laughs> who would go on the internet and tell lies? Who would do that? Oh... Uh... What reason would someone make stuff up for attention for? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Hold up. You know what we can do? Um, we can use Dust Tornado to pop that one face down of his. I mean, hey, I get to tell people I play video games for a living. Or that I'm a YouTuber, I should say. That can be embarrassing in a lot of conversations. But at least I don't tell people I, I do perform exorcisms over Skype. Fossil Fusion. Oh, damn. This isn't even a real card yet, right? This is like anime only at the time. What's he doing? Prehistoric Fossil... Er, sorry. Paleozoic Fossil. Dragon... Skull, Skull Geoth. One rock type monster in your graveyard plus level 8 or higher monster in your opponent's graveyard. This card cannot be special summoned except by the effect of Fossil Fusion. When this card attacks, you can switch the attack and defense to the attack target monster. James, uh, drain about between. The oh, it has piercing damage. Okay, yeah, we're gonna use Icarus then. I'm an influencer. Do you know how hard it is to tell people I'm a YouTuber sometimes? Because, like, I have to explain too much and I hate it. I'm gonna have to pop one of my own things now. Heavy Storm or this. Yeah, I'll just get rid of this. It's fine. Oh boy. You tell people they're a you're a YouTuber and they assume the worst of you. Immediately. That or they think I just get like 10 views and I think I'm hot crap. <laughs> Ow. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the, um... This was when I had, I had to do one of those government, like, um... Censuses. Because my, cause my home was selected, right? So what this was, was... Oh, wait, damn, we lost. That's unfortunate. Let me tell a story before I get distracted by the next attempt. I, one of my, my household got selected a few years ago for, like, a government census. And what that is, is you you have to do it, by the way. You, you have no choice if you get selected. It's just how it is here in Canada. They call you up and you have to answer a bunch of questions about like uh, about your household and all that so they can like gather data and all that stuff, right? And every single time they would call me, right? I'd have to re-explain that I was a YouTuber because the person calling was always someone different. Oh, it's like, okay, what do you do? What do you do for a living? You're a YouTuber. Okay, how does that work? <laughs> and I have to answer the same stuff over and over to someone that has no idea, right? But I remember, like, one of the last ones I had to do. I think the person who was doing this, uh, the, the interview survey, whatever you call it, he sounded like some young guy. And when I told him that I was a YouTuber, he was, like, very interested and super impressed by that. And he's like, wow, really? That That's really cool. And, like... He, he, he was like, um, let me see here. He went on a little tangent about how he, his favorite YouTuber was like Mr. Beast or something like that. But he was like really impressed that he got to meet like a YouTuber talking on the phone. I was like, it, it made his day. 
because he's probably just talking to boring people all day. Instead, he gets to talk to me, the most interesting person in Canada. <laughs> nice, yeah. There we go. Um, put that down. Let me see here. Um, I can just beat over him with the regular stuff, but I don't want to fill my entire back row yet. Hang on, this won't give me enough, though, if I use you. Ah, oh, darn it, I can't really do much, so I guess I'll just set you then and set Mirror Force after all. Never mind. Excellent. Yeah, most of the time, it'll just be something like where I'm at the dentist or whatever, right? Hang on, Mirror Force? They'll ask me what I do for a living. Because, you know, dentists try to make small talk past the time in there. <laughs> before they're, like, uh, sticking a hook in your teeth. Want to about to end their turn? Yeah, I think I will pop their two back row. Jesse can use the field spell. Excellent. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Oh, yeah, I, I make video game videos. Oh, how does that work? H how does that work? I don't understand. And I'm not trying to sound, like, condescending. But most of the time, everyone always says it in a tone where they don't believe me. So I don't like having to... I don't like explaining it <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Name five videos. Excellent. That's that's the big thing. Having to explain it to someone who sounds like they don't believe you and they probably won't. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we're doing heavy damage right here. Perfect. Aye, perfect. Well, we can't play Hamilton, but we could probably beat the crap out of whatever that face down is. Explaining things can be awkward, because sometimes when people think YouTuber, they think about those dudes who go prank people in public, and then you're like, uh, no, 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 I'm not one of those, I'm normal. You're a YouTuber? Make me laugh, funny man. Do that. Yeah, I'll use it on you, because I can. Crystal Raigeki's there, but we don't need to do anything with it. Goggle Golem. Nice, we got it. Yeah, let me get a drink. I'm stumbling over my words. My throat's dry. Ooh, I've been having a good time playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I gotta say. I uh, didn't feel the best this morning, but just kind of jumping into uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh stream is a good way to unwind. What is this? Oh, now I see. After one of us finishes a duel, all of our energy is sucked up by the bio band and is sent somewhere in this island. Oh, you're right. I don't have any energy left. Maybe Adrian knows something about this. He sometimes disappears to do research on the island. Adrian? Okay, next time I see him, I'll ask. Oh, I can't move a muscle. Tyranno, you're back to normal. Maybe that means the pulse is weakened. I have a bad feeling about this. Well. Now we're gonna go buy Sadie cards. Oh, wait, no, class is skipped because we were doing an event, so... Guess I can't. Oh, they're hanging out here. Magic Essence, Raging Wind. Is it Dusk yet? Of course it's not. Please. Please. I'm begging you. No, Sadie's not working today. Oh my god, I thought they alternated. I guess they just switch randomly. Let me see if I unlocked any new packs outside of this. Hour and a half, and I still can't even buy the damn pack. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's great. Well then, let's buy a sandwich for our big boy here. Yes. Don't see a gold one. Ham sandwich? Thank you. Yeah, sure. We... We got a lot of points lately, so we may as well just spend it on this. Remember, the game only advances when you uh, max out the hearts. That's the main thing. 
Come on. Give me a gold. No gold sandwiches, I see. One more after this. Doesn't look like it's increasing at all. It hasn't started the next arc, but I know it's going up. Damn. I guess there's no gold one today. Okay, there we go. It started the next heart. See, it almost looked like it wasn't even going up, period. So you probably thought I was wasting it for a second, didn't you? Um, let me check if the cat's still in my room. Probably not. Should have checked for that when I was uh, doing other stuff. Still can't move here. Cat is still here. One in three chance. Ah, we failed. Cat does not love us today. Who takes care of Pharaoh now? Now that banner's gone. Is there anyone hanging out in here? All the blue students are just having dinner here. Yumi. Hiro. Super strength. Maki. Oh, wait, I haven't beaten Maki? Let's change that. You're one who wanted the duel, so hurry up. Don't get any ideas. Not like I approached you. Go, go, go. Let's do this. It'll be fun. Super strength and merry-go-round two. Fix my posture. Sit like a good woman. Ow. I wish I could have premature burial, but I haven't pulled it. What do you got for me, Maki? Elite Goblin Attack Force. Okay, we can Crystal Raigeki now. That should be useful. Okay, we have quite a few cards at our disposal. Do I want to put them all down? I think I'll just do these for now in case we get heavy storms. So... Hmm. I can't beat over this unless I use Crystal Raigeki, so that would clear this up. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think Jesse can use Crystal Raigeki at all, which is a shame. It seems like his AI does not think it's a good trade-off, which is weird, because it's literally made for him in his archetype. Um, you know, I suppose I'll put this down now, just in case. Go, Eagle. Sakuretsu. Well, it's better that we baited it. Yeah, no reason to use the other thing. Don't Heavy Storm. Giant Orc. Okay, perfect. We can use Trap Hole for this one. Perfect. I still don't have a cat myself, but I've been thinking about it. I'm more of a dog person, but... Um, I've said this before. I don't want to get a pet unless I know I can have the time and money set aside to take care of it, especially for emergency situations. But, um, I don't know if I'd really have time to take a dog out for a walk as much as I, it deserves. So maybe I, I should get a cat. You see here. Oh, nice. Mirror Force is going off. And Nidoria's effect didn't go off either. Sick. Oh, that thing. Dark Necrofear. Hold up. This card cannot be normal summoner set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play three fiend monsters from your graveyard. If this card is restored as a result of battle or by your opponent's card effects, it is treated as an equipped card during the end phase and equipped to one of your opponent's monsters. We definitely want to hit this with Rise's effect then, I think. Um, could just get rid of Carbuncle. Another reason I think I'd probably get a cat is also, <laughs> I'm not more, I, I don't like mice at all. Let's see here, do this. Ring of Destruction. Get out of here. Everybody is packing this card, it's annoying. Well, at least he's banished. And now we can summon Sylphide. Let's do it. I would love a little pet friend, but I also don't really have the, the space right now, either. Let me see. Create the effect of a card. Hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. 
Well, at least I made you burn, like, all your resources, and I'm the one with a body on the board. Excellent. Okay, we could probably do this. Jesse can deal with whatever hide set up. Oh, he has his mirror force. Right, I gave him a mirror force. I forgot about that. Ah, whatever. Perfect. Exiled force? Oh, really? They set that instead of just popping it. Oh, they destiny drawed and it was a brick. Okay, I think we win. I think we win. See that chat? Teddy's win. Oh. You still lose. You still lose, you brat. <laughs> Isn't ring at one? Must have been the partner's ring that activated then. Whatever. Get out of here, girl. I used the wrong deck. I would have won otherwise. Oh wow, that's that that's a pretty that's a pretty solid excuse right there. I pity you, so come to me if you need an opponent. Girl, what is your problem? Don't get funny ideas. It's not like I want to duel you or anything, Baka. Yeah, we did it. Have you heard about the wild man living in the forest? Some people claim they've seen him wandering around the woods, screaming like a crazed animal. I'm not scared, though. Hope you're not a criminal. Oh, right, she's the one that throws that in for some reason. Beat Masha before. Oh, boy. Hello, friend. Welcome. Well, it's late at night. Let's check the forest. Maybe the wild man will be there now. Nice. We got a boost to Jesse's affection. What are you doing out here by yourself? Oh, there's someone with you. Who is playing in the power lines here this late at night? So weird that it's open. Check the hidden path. Let's go have a little look-see. No one is ever over here. I think I found, like, Dark Magician Girl cards there at the start, and that's it. Maybe the Sadie pack will be open tomorrow. Opium. Let's get a duel in and get some more points. We can also buy some more sandwiches tomorrow, too. It's like when you get beaten in a fighting game, you're like, oh, I would have won if I picked a different character. It's like, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works at all. I would have won if I didn't lose, I'll have you know. I pity you, so, you know, come fight me again if you want a real fight. Let's go. I would have won if the update buffed my character. That's my favorite excuse. Well then, that eagle is dead. He just threw those cards out there, didn't he? Jesse, you could use Crystal Rageki. You could use... Okay, he's not gonna. Excellent. <sighs> Jesse could have just activated this on his turn and then just popped one of these. Hmm... Destroy your opponent's card effect, add a six samurai monster from graveyard to hand. Damn, okay, we don't want to pop this with an effect, maybe. This card will be destroyed. You can destroy another six samurai monster you control and send. Oh, he's gonna get that effect no matter what, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I might need to play Eagle and sack it for this then. Hmm, hold up. Destroyed. Can Icarus attack combo with this if I pop that? I, not much I can really do, can I, huh? Even with the big bang, it's not gonna go over. So. It doesn't have to be face up. I know you can use it while it's face down anyway. Well, I'll just put a face up anyway. Hmm. My Crystal Raigeki first. Probably should. I'm gonna have to just pop his monster. We'll do this. Man, Crystal Raigeki is really a big minus, isn't it? Okay, didn't use the effect to swap that. So now we can put you on the field. Hold up. This would make you tie, actually, now that I think about it. 
I didn't think about Cobalt Eagle going to the graveyard so Sylphie could be summoned. Hmm, if we tie, would that be worth it? I mean, I could just be a deterrent. This should be okay, then. Put you in attack mode. Then we'll go ahead and equip this to you, and hopefully it doesn't blow up in our face. No need to attack. We can Icarus, use Icarus attack during your turn. I hope, anyway. I know he's gonna get a free card for this, but I need that monster gone anyway. God, I'm gonna fill his hand up. I'm gonna regret this. Pick that. Pick that. Oh, he's flipping it. Whatever, I still have a monster that can beat over him. Grandmaster's effect activates. You know, they're, they're called the six samurai, but I'm pretty sure by now there's a lot more than six of them. Right? Or are they now the 600 Samurai? Jesse's going for that piercing. Good boy. Perfect. Sorry, chat. I was a little distracted by that turn. Let me see. Sorry. No one shows up in the forest over there till like, a few new game pluses. I don't know. Games are weird. Oh, you get to attack directly. That's right. Because uh, Umi's on the field, technically. Crystal Raigeki's there again. Maybe I only need Crystal Raigeki at one. It is pretty slow. And pretty minus, I guess, but we need some more staples from Jesse anyway. Mm. There's like 26 Samurais now. Okay. Wow. Our attack points literally mirror each other. Isn't that funny? I could ju we could just crash into each other, but that wouldn't be a very smart idea. When your monster is sent from the field of the graveyard. See, I could crash Sylphie into this thing, assuming nothing activates here. Hmm. Then destroy this dude. Wait, no, I could crash you into this, but then you'd get destroyed by card effect, but... It's Joshua's turn. No, he's the one with the six samurai cards, so he would get to search it. Ah. Mm. Base of attack position monsters into the graveyard, but this monster's results of battle at the top of their deck. Decisions, decisions. I could, I could crash them into uh, each other to do this, but the problem is if he gets destroyed by card effect, he gets to search another thing, and I don't really want to give him that. So if I crash these two into each other, then his effect will go off, but I don't want to crash these two into each other here, because then, uh, then I'll lose my big monster with the equip. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm going for it now. Oh! It was Mirror Force, too. However, we can do this. Whatever, he's gonna search, but I need his big beat stick gone. Ugh, oh, man. He just gets to add it back to his hand now, basically. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. Once again, Mirror Force decided the game. He put a Mad Lobster down. That's all he needs, though. We're just barely gonna live. Jesse, I need you the Destiny Draw, the win card. The card that just wins when you play it. Oh my god. Jesse. Je Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. You know, I can't blame him. I can't blame him. I had no cards left either, but <laughs> he bricked super hard there, didn't he? Oh man. Oh, well, that's fine. Victory, I did it. I really did it. Farewell for now. Oh, we'll get him next time. Yeah, keep that positive attitude. Time for bed. Those aren't bricks, they're gems. Hey, I came to get you. Come on, hurry up and get changed. We can go duel. I'm gonna go to the shop, and I hope that Sadie is there. Please let Sadie be there. Please let Sadie... Let me buy my burn deck already, please. 
I've been waiting almost two hours and she still hasn't worked the store. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even buy it! Like, come on! <laughs> Alright. Why are they gonna make it so hard just to buy cards? I finally got this stupid thing unlocked and I can't even buy it. Because I the RNG won't let Sadie show up. Let me see if I can just get Premature Burial then. How about that? Is she only on the weekends or something? I could swear that it's like just 50-50 chance or whatever. Let's get some of this stuff. I don't need that. Blast with chain. Well, I didn't really get anything from that. Why didn't I challenge them? They can't duel. You can't duel them. If they can't duel. Try for torrential tributes. One, two, three, four. Time machine. There we go. Buy Jesse packs? Why? I don't need them. Dorothy got that. Simon. I haven't dueled him in his level 2 deck. I haven't dueled, dueled theirs. Let me see if they'll give me a sandwich, though. 500 points. I don't see the gold one. Sweet chestnut sandwich. Give me the gold one, please. No gold one. We're making progress, at least. And my dual points are coming in uh, pretty fast now. Let's try one more. No gold one. All right, one more sandwich for now. See if the gold one's there. Or just get a generic buff. Nope. Okay, he loved that one a lot. At least that helped. Now let's duel you guys. Duel, sure thing. You ready? Tag duel. It seems like I'm getting more duel points. Is that because everyone is at their level two? I want to say that's helping. No, you can't duel Sadie or Dorothy until like New Game Plus or something like that. I didn't even bother unlocking their duels together in uh, Tag Force 1 because you had to like beat the game with everyone or all the tier one characters and then the tier two characters that don't even have story. Excellent. Okay, DD Assailant. When this card is destroyed by battle, if uh, let me read it. Move this card from play, bolt this the monster that destroyed this card. Goblin Thief. A little boop. Carbuncle has been destroyed. Toon Goblin can't do anything. Ooh. it's a lot of stuff there. Fiend was selected. Okay, then. A Lightning Vortex would be okay. I could discard Duck and then Special Summon you, but that'd be kind of pointless because I don't have anything to Normal Summon anyway. So I could set up for Icarus Attack after I'm done with the Duck. There's no reason to really creature swap these, I feel. Hold up. Nervous Summon for Special Summon. This card attacks... Okay, it still has the Goblin Attack Force card of being changed to defense mode, so I don't think I want to steal it. Um, if anything, Sylphie should probably get discarded. I don't really need it. So let's do this first, see if anything gets negated. Don't want to throw my whole hand away first. These two are good backup cards if things go wrong. Let's attack. Goats. Goats. Sheeps, goats, they're here. After playing Little Goody Two Shoes, I don't know about that. Bully them. You were a goat and now you're dead. Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter. The goats just stall. Can't tribute them. Reflect Bounder. Oh, they're fiend tokens now, you're right. Jesse, did you just brick again? 
No, he didn't. That's right. I'm a goat. Boop. Carbuncle gets to the back row. Oh, wait. I just realized. Um, hold up. With a high stack of field, you choose. I can pop Reflect Bounder without stupid effect going off. Do I want to steal it? Not really. I'd rather save that for something else. So sorry. Oh, I just realized something. I, d I can't use Icarus Attack because everyone's a fiend now. Oh, I didn't even think about that. No wonder I can't do it. All right, let's get him. No, in this channel, we don't like goats. We like bears. Everybody likes bears, right? On this channel, we love Teddy Ursa's. Boop. And not those stinky cleffas. Uh, ooh, actually, that helps. But I wouldn't be able to get this off. There's one crystal beast, so rainbow ruins are protected. Hmm. I guess I'll go for it. I need to get rid of that entire back row anyway. Okay. Now let's do this. Bears are the goat. Heck yeah. Exiled force. That's not good. Oh, hey, Gores, what's going on? Spirit Reaper. Ooh, do I wish I set that creature swap for Jesse now. Play the swords. There you go. I can creature swap Gores, right? He didn't have protection, I don't remember. Wait, what? Bro. Okay. That's... Mm. And he flipped up another DNA surgery. <laughs> Hold up. I don't even have a creature to swap now. Oh, that sucks. There are no cards on your side of the field. If you take damage from a card your opponent controls, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you special summon this card successfully, the following effect activates spent on the type of damage you received. If it was direct damage, special summon emissary of darkness token. Attack defensive to the damage you took. If the damage was from a card effect, your opponent received the same damage you received. Okay. Well. Okay, Mr. Gores. Jesse, I'm gonna need you to use that creature swap, because I sure as hell can't. Uh He has two- he has multiple monsters, though, so it won't work. We need him to have only gores. It's too late. Oh, wait! Mirror Force! Jesse, you can do this. Morphin Jar after the Crush card is- oh my god. <laughs> oh, we are in trouble now. I can't do anything, because he has multiple monsters now. I can't creature swap gores, because he gets to choose his target. <laughs> At least he probably can't finish me. I'm gonna leave it all up to Jesse. He needs to get that Mirror Force set. Man, Crush Card is... Ooh. Um, I don't need DNA Surgery gone. I'm just gonna pop this one. Hope it's something good. What was it? It was Ring of Destruction. He was gonna cause a tie game otherwise. Bro, you did not. Bro, get out of here. <laughs> Are you for real? We could creature swap one of those, but you know, just take the weaker one. Mirror force, mirror force, mirror, mirror force. Okay, we can do this. Chat, we can do this. Teddies are still gonna win. Teddies are gonna win. Fortunately, that Phoenix is gonna come back. We might have a chance. Wait, wait hang on a second. What's its effect? If this card is destroyed by a card effect, special summon it during your next standby phase. If you special summon this way, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Ah, damn, that's so annoying, right? I can creature swap it, though, when it comes. No, I can't. It's stuck on the field now. Does it say opponents? All of them on the field. Okay. 
This won't get destroyed because there's at least one crystal beast back here, so it has protection. Best I can do is just attack him. But I should probably leave you in face down because if I get mirror forced, I'm kind of boned. Let's do it. Maybe I will just MST one random card in case he does something to stop this attack. Because I'm going to lose the MST anyway. Alright, we did some damage. Now we're going to get rid of the cry. Here it comes. Everything went boom. No creature swap because it's gone. Ooh, not good. Elite Goblin Attack Force. Hang on. Oh, if only we could get... I can Destiny Draw. Let's do it. Oh? Okay. If I get this sent back to your hand, it'll, you'll have to spend more resources to get it back out. But that elite goblin attack force is there, so... Not like I can do anything except that. Send the phoenix back to his hand. Wait, let me see if he tributes first. Reflect bounder. Okay. Oh, we're probably gonna die anyway, but we need to send that phoenix back. We got one turn. If Jesse can somehow make us survive, we can and get another Crystal Beast in the back row. I can get Hamilton on the on the board. Well, that made me discard it. The Robin Goblin's effect. Never mind. Oh, I forgot. Robin Goblin's effect discards the card in my hand, so I lose Hamilton. Only one of those can beat over us. We have one more turn. We can do this. Oh, Jesse's going to take... I need to I need to draw my second Hamilton or it's over. Oh, this is bad. No! Oh, man. Game over. Makes no difference. I lose my card in my hand. It's playing with me. The Cleffa's got us this time. We got destroyed right there. Yes, we did. Use 20 spell cards. God, that is not happening right now. That's for sure. Yeah, beat you this time. Let's duel again. Not so good. We'll get him next time. Yeah, we will. What about you two? The Metal... Bugs World... Hmm. Well, should go farm some dual points for a bit, shouldn't we? Yellow Dorm, the Harbor... Hmm, before that, hold up. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned, everybody. Hope you're all feeling happy and wholesome. I am having a good time. Welcome, friend. Okay, let me just move this. I just went to go pee right quick. Now let's play more card games. There's high stakes on the line. Um, that evil guy that uses snake cards is going to... Oopsie. He's trying to drain our energy or something like that. I don't know. It's not important. Unknown Chaos. Ruling Light. Well, you're the only ones here, so let's just duel them. Was the tournament on Sunday or Saturday? I don't actually remember. And thank you for the sub there, the resub. You're getting close to one year of bears. You know we all love to see it. Tag duel. Unknown Chaos, Ruling Light. Everything just has two in the name. Nothing fancy. 
Ooh, I was worried I was muted for a few moments there. Don't worry, it's fine. He's got Hamilton, Light of Intervention. Play Terraforming. Get your field spell. Pegasus just lets you get your free back row crystal beast set up. Ooh, I see what you're doing. Oh wait, never mind. I thought he was gonna do Carbuncle's effect. It does not work with that. This card is special summoned. Uh, okay. I guess he couldn't bring out anything else. I haven't gotten to move yet, so I can't do anything. Oh boy. Poor Carbuncle. You didn't need to bring him out for that. Look at what you did. Anyways, we'll set this. And... Spellbinding Circle is now attached to the Pegasus. Hmm. Could easily beat over this stuff with Light uh, United We Stand. Hmm. You can, hang on a second. An adjacent, unoccupied zone. The simple answer is to just place this here, but I can't auto-place, can I? Hold up. Can I change the options for that? Card placement. I need it turned on just for this turn. Just for this turn only, which is really funny. Now that there's effects that actually require stuff like that, you can have the option to choose. So... It's fine to put you here. The main thing is we need to put down United We Stand in this one right here. There, and now I can turn it off. I meant when Link monsters come around, you kind of have no choice but to it to be manual in every game, I assume. But here, because it only matters for a few, it's just a few couple of cards in the entire game, you don't even have to care beyond that. Anyways, we should be able to beat these things now. Let's get rid of the big one. Okay, good. And that's all we need to do. Alien Infiltrator. He's trying to move to the other side. Zone placement has always been a rule, but nobody really knew about it until cards started using zones. Yeah. I mean, it's mostly also that, um... Also has something to do with the, the fact that most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! video games just placed automatically for a while because it really didn't matter. Okay. Down the tiger. Then Ken Dog is now incredibly powerful. We can't attack with Pegasus because it's hit by the circle. Spellbinding circle is annoying. Oh, come on, dude. Well, I guess now our monster is fine. You're still gonna lose, bro. You're still gonna lose. Hmm. I guess I'll just set this and beat over him for game. No, wait, no, that won't be enough. Mm -hmm. I probably could have if I just would have put the eagle down. I thought I could special summon, but that's fine. Oh, well, we're gonna have to wait an extra turn now. He'll just barely live, but he has nothing to come back on. I mean, yeah, I suppose when you're playing the actual card game early on, putting the equip spells behind the monster they're equipped to makes the most sense. Makes it easier to remember. Messenger of Peace? Bro, get out of here. You can't even use that. You're not gonna have enough life points for it. Okay. And Eagle can still attack. It goes through Messenger of Peace. Nice. Peace was never an option for you. Take that, Walter. Damn. It really does feel like I'm earning, on average, a lot more Duelist points. It definitely has to be because everyone's upgraded. I lost. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep doing it. Excellent. Okay. Um... I kind of want to advance to the weekend to see if I can finally buy cards from Sadie. Because I want to get some burn cards already. Like, come on. This whole this game is really stalling the whole thing, ain't it? 
to the store. No one's here right now, cause closed. They're not working, but I will buy one more sandwich cause I can. No gold. I wanted to buy him an extra sandwich, but it's okay. I never really checked the most of the other rooms at the school, do I? Oh, hey, there's Jaden and the Chaz right there. Jaden with his... Oh, wait, he's got Neospatians now? Bro, it went through his whole character arc off screen. Will that make him better or worse because of Stratos? Let's duel him. He didn't have a Neo Spatian deck when he was doing that event with uh, Blair as his partner, right? I don't think he summoned any Neo Spatians. Excellent. Draw. Lose. Win. Heck yeah. First to go. Second to go. Go Ojama. Ojamas and Neo Spatians, can they do anything together? But he have a Grand Mole? Maybe. And he got Stratos. And he got a second Rota. And he got that thing. This thing exists? I thought this was a later card. We got Elemental Hero, not Neos, but it's technically Neos, so because Neos is bad. They had to make a it's playable version of Neos is what it is. Chaz got the final. Why is he playing the final countdown in Ojamas? Is that really his strategy? Lock down your monster zones and do that? That is stupid. That is never gonna go off, you fool. You're gonna ah damn it! I don't want a heavy storm when I have the swords there. The ground collapse isn't that big a deal. Maybe I should just give up the swords. Really, maybe I should. I don't like it, but... Ground Collapse could slow me down if he gets his Ojamas out. I'm gonna do it. The other one was... MST, was it? No, it was Heavy Storm he had face down. This is his graveyard, not mine. Yeah, he could have played Heavy Storm anyway. Okay, that was actually a good Heavy Storm then. Hmm. Could back to square one that monster, but the tiger can probably beat over it anyway. It's probably just Ojamas. Because he has to play the three vanilla Ojamas anyway, right? So he's probably just going to set them face down, not realizing how they're supposed to work, but just in case. Yep, I knew it. I absolutely called it. We took a bite out of Ojama green, and now he's Ojama gone. Yeah. Is Chaz even playing Arm Dragons or whatever in this deck? Or is it just 100% Ojamas now? Stratos. He's doing Stratos things, and I'm doing back row things. Excellent. He got Neo uh, Elemental Hero Neos. I almost called it Neo Spatian Neos. Oh, he also got Neos again. Damn. Yeah, we'll put it in the back row. I wonder... I, I almost feel like this deck might be worse for Jaden. I feel like the, the Neospatians are going to be bricks for him. Okay, there's not much you can do. Seems like Chaz's strategy is just stall with Ojama effects to get final countdown, which is weird. He did the normal summon effect, so now it has Neos in its name. Fantastic. He's going to contact Fusion with something. Well then, the answer to my problem has just arrived. Return the Gemini monster to the top of the deck. I don't know if we can beat Aqua Dolphin if it gets on the field. I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure in Tag Force 1, Chaz's deck was just all armed dragons if you picked him as a partner. That's why he synergized so well if you use an, your own armed dragon deck. I did attack, right? Yeah, I did. 
Because what happens is he summons a level three, and then on my turn, I can summon my level five from my deck with the effect. And then on his turn, he can go right to level seven from his deck. It synergized so well in the tag duel. It was amazing. Oh, Neospace. Wait, what? This exists right now? Hold up. Do not have their... I thought this card was much later to fix uh, Neospatian cards. You're telling me that they printed that crap almost right away because they realized how bad the effects were? Damn. Well then, anyways, we beat him. Sorry, Jaden, your new deck kind of sucks. Neospace is still in Tag Force 1? Really? I didn't see any Neospatians there. Not that I remember. 610. Oh, I lost. But it was exciting. You're good. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. Let's go home. Boo, 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 boo. Back here. Let's go to bed. Hopefully something new happens tomorrow. Hey, came to get you. Come on, hurry. Let's go duel. Tomorrow's the tournament, so let's see if we can get the Sadie cards. Please, Sadie, I'm begging you. Work today. Work, girl. Just do your job, please. I'm begging you. To the store. Oh, finally. Finally. You're telling me I can finally buy the cards over two hours in. Give us the cards, Sadie. We can do it. Oh my god, we can do it. This is a present from me. They're 200 a pop, though. We're gonna eat through all this. Come on, give me that skelly invitation. What do we got? Burrower, Castle Gate, Major Riot, Mass Driver. Skull invitation right away. It's here. Ukazi? We can do the, um... Oh, Desk Koala right away. Oh, chat, I'm in heaven or hell with all this burning going on. Attack and receive, amoeba. Tremendous fire. Everyone spamming the Teddy Toll emote. Sparks, let's go. Magical explosion. Catapult turtle and secret barrel. What did that one do again? Secret barrel. Oh, I love how the guns in this one are colored like nerf guns. Like, look at that. It's so funny. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the number of cards in your opponent's side of the field and in your opponent's hand. I, this didn't exist in Tag Force 1. Hang on, hang on. Everyone help me make a, like, write down a list with me of cards we can put into the burn deck right now, because we got to get this going. This is going to be fun. I've been waiting, like, more than 50 hours for this. 44% already. Well, I couldn't find it in Tag Force 1, I don't think. I can receive... Magical Explosion. Got my Catapult Turtle. Cemetery Bomb. Oh, I don't know if that one's still worth it. Skull Servant should be at three. Dark Snake Syndrome. I wonder if I should use that. Oh, Poison Mummy. Sick, that's here too. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to set everything on fire. Hang on. What does Amoeba do when this car... When control of this card on your the field shifts to your opponents, inflict 2,000 points of damage. Yeah, they're like they're going to do that. This can only be used once. Overbalancing, you tell ya. Nightmare wheel. Buy them all. Buy them all! The burn cards are here and we're ready. Only creature swap would that work for, yeah. Come on, give me more. I need three copies of Skull Invitation. That's the big one. Coffin Cellar is also there. Sparks. Just Desserts. I have one copy of that already. Now we can have two. Come on. There's my second Skull Invitation. Well, I have to play it with Jesse. He's my partner. Don't y'all know? There's my second Poison Mummy. There's my third Skelly Invitation. I wonder if I should open the water pack to get Nightmare Penguin, because that's actually a good, like, flip effect thing, ain't it? Okay. Poison Mummy. 
I got two of them there, so now I have three. Okay, a couple of these, and I should start building it. I didn't get the Ring of Destruction, but who cares? We got Skull Invitation. There's another Poison Mummy. Who cut? Ooh, that's what I wanted to see right there. That's really what I wanted to see. Isn't... Okay, Wave Motion Cannon. That's also good. Oh, let's go. Mass Driver. Um, we don't really need to tribute monsters. That's not the engine I'm going for. Okay, just, just a few more. I'm having too much fun. I'm spending all my money. This is what I hoarded it for. Heck, back row room. We'll make it work. Yes, we will. Jesse will can ruin it as much as he wants. It's fine. You know what I just realized? We can put Toll and Chain Energy on the field, and they can be summoned via Hamilton by Jesse if he needs to. That would be really funny, actually. Hold up. Maybe I should open some, uh... More packs of this. I think I have... I don't think I have three chain energy and tolls yet. Let me just buy a couple of them, see what I get. Dweller and whatever. Oh, look! Chain energy, speak of the devil. Perfect. Oh, toll! Ground collapse. It's Teddy toll time, yes it is. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good to start building. Uh, I should probably also make a save with my current deck, right? Let me save normally first. Deck menu. Deck edit. Okay, first... Uh, what button do I press for this? Okay. Deck and recipe menu. Save recipe. We'll save the starting deck there. Now then, deck menu, empty deck. Okay, chat, are you ready? Let's get them. Let's look for the new symbols first. You know, we need those. Burning land, let's pop in three of those. Burning land's continuous, it works with Hamilton. Now then, chain energy, I have that at two. This is gonna suck, but it's gonna be so much fun. I feel like Cemetery Bomb is too slow and requires too much setup. I can't burn at the start with it, so maybe not. Uh, Coffin Cellar... No, that's just Discount Skull Invitation, I feel, so... Hmm. Maybe I could play the, tor the Turtle. I could put it in Defense Mode as um, something the opponent to crash into, and it can set things up for Jesse. Just because I need some monsters and I don't have Nightmare Penguin, but I have Poison Mummy. Let's keep going. We can always edit it later. Wait, what was this again? Curse of Dark. Oh, right, this one. Jesse will get us killed if I activate this. Let's be real. D do you think I should put it in? Remember how many games I lost because the AI keeps playing spell cards anyway when he's my partner? I think I have some Needleworms, actually, yeah. I'm gonna put one in because it's fun and we like fun on this channel. Desk Koala. I need more copies of this for sure. Um, the deck is at 10, so... Quick, remind me of what else I pulled and what I can put in. I know I need Needleworm. That's the one I've had for a while. Okay. Hammer Shot is there. Don't think I need that, though. Heavy Storm? I probably should put that in. That's a good staple. You know, I need Magic Cylinder and Secret Barrel, yeah. Just a break. There's that there. Oh, there's Cylinder. Hmm. Oh, is that it there? No, it's Magical Explosion. Mass Driver, we don't really need. Meteor of Destruction, nah. Mooka Mooka. Nightmare Wheel. What does this do again? Select a monster opponent side of the field. As long as the card remains face of the field, select a monster cannot attack. During each your standby phase, this card inflects five points to your opponent's life points. Um, that requires them to set up, though. Do I want to do that? Is that worth the space? Not really. I don't know if I want to do that yet. This is just good generic burn, but for one card, I don't know. 
I feel like I'd only want to use this if I'm doing the dungeon runs. Oh, there's Poison Mummy. Hang on, we need three copies of that in there for sure. Oh, Princess of uh, Sarugi is also needed for sure, speak of the devil. I only have two copies of her. Uh, I need Toll as itself, of course. That should be up ahead in a bit. Anything else in this section we need? Share the pains there. Oh, the Skull Invitation. Here we go. There's sparks. We're not going to put it in, even for the memes. We all know it's not going to... It's going to be funny for one second, and it's not going to win games. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. Forgot about this thing. I pulled it. We can put it in. That might get me some extra damage if I need to put a monster down. Terraforming. Nah. Okay, we're in T, so where's Toll? Toll, Toll, Toll... There it is. The Teddy Toll. Nope, Summon Skull's not going in. You know it ain't. Everyone get ready to pay the toll right there. Tremendous fire. Mm. It's a thousand points of damage to your opponent and 500 to myself. Not sure if that's necessarily worth it either. Like, you want to see the damage go off, not just one card for one little boop, right? I mean, this could also be the card that finishes off the opponents. Hang on, what about Mass Driver? That, or, sorry, not Mass Driver. Wave Motion Cannon. That's another good one we should run for now. Hmm. That's right. If uh, for Skull Invitation, the Crystal Beast will go in the back row, but we're not going to have room in the back row. <laughs> we're not going to have the back row at all. Oh, it's mine now, Jesse. Hang on, what else can we do? Creature Swap. Old man, no, is, is a given. Probably want that. Do I want to put in Creature Swap, maybe? Creature Swap is still a good card. Stealing your opponent's monster in some situations. Morphing Jar, absolutely. Yes, because it's funny and fun. <laughs> I need more monsters, don't I? Um... Penguin Soldier. That'll slow them down, I guess. This is gonna be so crusty with Jesse as the partner, absolutely. Mm. What do I have in now? Let's take a look. We need more monsters. That's the big thing now. What else can I do for monsters right now in this crusty burn deck? I could should, maybe I should just put in Crystal Beasts? Hang on, Des, do I have Des Wombat actually? That would work. Uh, let me go ahead and sort them alphabetically now. Des Wombat down to effect monsters. Des Wombat, Des Wombat. I do. Yeah, this would make me immune to skull in, my own Skull Invitation. If it happens to work like that. What's another monster I could put in? Needleworm, right, right, I forgot about that. Uh, I only have one giant rat. Um, hang on a second. Oopsie. Hold up. Not very much here, is there? Oh, there it is. I only have one. Hmm. Do I have... I don't think I have Solar Flare Dragon, but that's one I really should try and get. That would work, wouldn't it? I already put in three copies of Poison Mummy. Uh, I don't know what that one is. I'm not sure if I have it. Oopsie. More gotcha in a moment. Agent of Force. The Bistro Butcher. Nah, nah, nah. We're not going to do that. Mm. I don't have Marshmallow. That would be really good, too. Let me see. What else? I don't really have other stuff for draw, do I? Hot of Greed ain't legal, or I sure as hell can't get it. Not sure if I want Tribute Monsters. 
I need stuff that can just kind of like stay on the field and not get beaten over and slow down my opponent while- Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's put this in. Four more monsters. Four more monsters. We have enough back row now. Um, I put in three of the turtles, so they might synergize with Jesse. M the key word being might. Honey, honey. Did I put in Penguin Soldier? Yes, I did. Put in Princess of Sarugi. I need to pull more copies of some. I, I could put... You know what? I'll put one Hamilton in. One Hamilton. Twin-Headed Behemoth is okay, I guess, for that. Yeah. I have one copy of Death Koala, and I put it in. Um... Not everyone has monsters strong enough for this. Yeah, that effect doesn't really synergize with the rest of me, though. That's level six. What about Spear Cretan? Yeah, I can also recycle a monster with that, I guess. Um... Thousand Needles, when this defense card attack, if the defense of this card is higher than the attacking monster, destroy it. I mean, it's only 1,800, though, so I don't know. I guess we could put it in for the stall factor while we need more cards. This card destroys all to battle. You can special summon an earth monster. Okay, yeah, that's... One more monster. What's, what's something else I could splash in that might work? I guess Yomi ship destroys something when it gets attacked in, too. Okay, are you guys ready? This is the crusty burn deck I can make with the current available cards. Hang on, we should go ahead and sort card frame, and we need to give it a name. We should call it Teddy Toll. Teddy Burn, thank you for the resub there. Xerxion, appreciate it. Uh, change deck name. Oh, great, hang on. Uh, delete. Shift is select. Boo, 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 boo. Space. The Teddy Toll. And now we make a save for it. Are you ready to pay the toll, chat? Are you ready to see the opponent pay it? I've been waiting so long for this. And Jesse is going to ruin everything. And it's... <laughs> it's just how it is. Oh, right. Oh, I can set destiny draws. I forgot about that. Um, what should be the destiny draw for this, actually? Um, Mirror Force? It's, uh, something that I could use to... Yeah, maybe I should do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Hold up. How do I... I don't remember how I set destiny. Ah, uh, there we go. Cylinder would also be good. Cylinder, we need this when we're about to lose and can probably just steal a cheesy victory. Mm. Honestly, these two would be fine, but should I set a third? Probably the less I set, the better. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. Maybe Penguin? Yeah, I can see that too. But like, I feel like those two will be more useful anyway. Because they're limited to one. Okay, we're gonna do this. We are gonna play Scum. I'm ready. I've been waiting so long. Who's gonna be our first victim of Teddy Toll? You two? Goblin Kingdom, limited fun. I, I'll have you know my deck is about limited fun. Mm, we already lost to these guys. Let's see if I can have my salty run back with this terrible deck. Let's do it. We're gonna play the Teddy Toll. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Let's go first. Unfortunately, I don't get to set anything up until... <laughs> until after the, at least the third turn here. That's how tag duels work. Oh, you know what I didn't put in? Just desserts, I think. That would have been useful too. I'm not sure Jesse would even play Toll Booth. Okay. Should we go with 
This is my only monster card. Hmm. They're not gonna activate that effect, so... Don't need that yet. If anything, just hit him with the burn damage with Poison Mummy first. And let's flip, let's use this first. Actually, it might be better that Jesse gets to move before me. No! Okay. Because if Jesse gets to move before me, uh, that means he can play his spell cards first and set up his rainbow ruins or whatever. Starting with Curse of Darkness is not my ideal situation, but okay. Let's see them activated. I want to see if the AI is still dumb enough to lose with this. Okay, they got no cards to play. 100. Take 500. Ha. And now you're not attacking because you're scared, huh? He didn't want to get flipped to defense mode. Get turtled. There you go. Jesse fell in the back row. We don't need Needleworm until we get Skull Invitation set up. Okay, hang on. Okay, we're gonna set Skull Invitation. Then we're gonna set Needleworm. Now watch this. Get ready for fun. We flip up Skull Invitation. Go on. Hit the monster. Hit the monster, Simon. Top five cards of your deck are discarded, and you take the Skull Invitation damage. Activate the effect of Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Uh, they're already attacking it, though. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't want it to fill in the back row. That's what I mean. Come on. He's attacking! He's attacking with the mummy! Oh no, Jesse! Well then. He's already he's already flubbed it. <laughs> he gave up our defenses. Oh! Uh Well then. Oh no, yep. <laughs> Jesse, you threw away our defenses. How could you? It's over. It's all over now. He, he put poison mummy. Wait, we have a hundred points left? How? How? What? We literally can't win, though. Skull Invitation's gonna kill me the moment uh, anything is bumped into me. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> you can easily beat over me with anything. I won't be able to do enough damage with Princess. Because as soon as whatever gets busted goes to the graveyard, Skull Invitation will finish me off. Somehow this is Cyrus's fault. Yes, it is. Final attack orders. He's going for it. And it flips me to attack mode, yep. Yeah, he but they're not the best they're not the best pair for this. Where's my destiny draw? Why would I get a destiny draw? Why would the game give me that in this situation? No, I'm not going to school. I'm a bad woman today. Let's go to the dual field. I haven't been here for a while. Come on. This is a great dueling facility. Makes you want to duel. Okay, you're the only two here. Raging Wind. Magic Essence. Who do you, th who do you like better? Dark Magician Girl? Okay, it's him. Let's set him on fire. Let's go. Jesse, can you please explain to us why he, you thought the 1,000 attack poison mummy was going to do anything in the in the duel? I mean, it could also do some solo duels. That would probably also work a little bit better. Pulling more copies of Death's Koala would also be pretty sick. Let me get a drink, yeah. Chain energy.
Familiar, familiar possessed win, the Magician's Valkyria. So sorry, you got reflected by a turtle. Okay, let's make this work. First, we go ahead and put Skull Invitation down. Next, we'll put down Stone Statue of the Aztecs. Then we will activate Burning Land, set the teddy bear picnic on fire. Don't worry, the ruins are gone. We don't need them. And now, Chain Energy. Pay to play the game. Okay, are you ready? I am. Flip up Skelly Invitation. Take 500 points of damage. Get burned. Pay 500 points to summon your weenie monster. Take double battle damage. Ooh, look at them numbers going down. Ain't that disgusting? It's good to be back. Now, Jesse. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, they got. Oh, no! Don't break chain energy on my partner's turn. Anything but that. <laughs> okay. That worked out pretty well, didn't it? They literally saved us life points, yeah. Why would you put it in defense mode? Why would you put that in defense mode, Jesse? What's wrong with you? Because this thing could probably beat over it for 50, yeah. Chain Thrasher. Look at all those little numbers just slowly burning everything up. What are you doing? Oh god, Wynn's got a giant axe now, huh? The tricky. No problem. Jesse, you, uh, you're, you're clogging the back row a little bit there. I can Crystal Raigeki at least. Wow then, Jesse, what the hell did you do? Um, yeah, I'm gonna Crystal Raigeki here. And we're gonna get rid of the big beat stick that just got summoned. And now three cards go to the graveyard for you. I love seeing that skull invitation symbol flash and then just ruin everything. Yeah. Okay, so if I play Burning Land, you're gonna take a thousand on your turn. Yeah, I think we won. Damn, we win. Yo, yeah, we got the burn deck. It only took um over two hours for Sadie to finally let me buy it after I unlocked it. It's a bit crusty with Jesse. It does not synergize with Jesse at all. Let's be real. I will go back to the normal deck. I promise. But I want to mess around with the burn decks for a little bit. I should do some solo duels, though. Like, my other deck was synergizing really well with Jesse, but this current one is just like, yikes. We win. All duelists must pay, pay the Teddy Toll. No, how can I lose to you? I can't lose to a guy. Okay. Raging Wind. Let's try a solo duel against her. This island is in the Pacific Ocean. Nature is bountiful. Most importantly, there's a wonderful breeze. Good place for duels. Oh, I, I had talk for some reason. I will make a, a specific deck, or specific burn deck for the dungeon another time. That's the one you want to load yourself with, like, Sparks and Ukazi. Because you can just finish them in one turn if you draw it. I still need to draw some key pieces for my burn strategy. I need more copies of Koala. Death Wombat wouldn't be too bad, too. Because if I put it on the field, it, um... In a lot of cases, it'll stop me from taking my own damage. Ooh, okay. Lucky Pied Piper. Ooh, there's the... Speak of the Devil. Here we can do this. Um, okay. First, Wave Motion Cannon. Hmm, I can beat over this thing with Wombat as well, so that's fine. And now, the Chain Energy. You always play Chain Energy last. 
on your turn, so you don't have to pay any cost for it. And now when she starts her turn, she has to pay a bunch of life points to do literally anything, and it's gonna suck. Let's do it. 500 life points! I wonder if I could steal Mindy's idea of, um, using Dark Snake Syndrome with the Wombat, too. Wombat's destroyed. Oh, well. That's totally fine. Um, Morphing Jar is good for resetting my hand. Cyber Jar is banned in this game, so I don't have that extra effect there. I could stall for another turn, because I know that you can't beat over my Tortoise. Actually, you could play your Equip spell. So you know what? I will just set Morphing Jar. Currently, this thing can do a thousand damage. I don't have Solar Flare Dragon yet. It's probably in the Fire Attribute pack, so I'll have to start be on the lookout for that. Maybe next stream. Kamakiri. Morphing Jar. Ooh, liking what I see. Can put down the Gear Fortress in a second. Unfortunately, I don't have the life point lead anymore. And now I now we're tied. Okay, Gravekeeper Servant is kind of useless, let's be real. I should probably replace that. Your uh, Princess will only hit for a burn there. Are you going to use spells to justify me doing that? Mirror Force would pop all your monsters, so we can do that. So first, let's set this. 500 for that. Set Mirror Force. I feel like I really need to protect this back row, so I'm setting Old Man No. I'll have the space. Mirror Force will absolutely get used up. This is at 2, so maybe next turn I'll activate it. Okay, we should be okay like this. We should be okay. You have to pay a little bit of, little bit of stuff right here. A little bit of life points, but that's the cost. You're gonna spend life points to burn life points. Rising air currents. Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Just get her below 3,000. Uh, that doesn't matter. Damn. Oh, wait, I'm allowed the destiny... I can destiny draw because it doesn't... It doesn't care about my back row. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting for burn strategies. Wow. Do it anyway. Mirror Force or Magic Cylinder, whenever I want. So all I have to do is hit the Wave Motion Cannon, end my turn, and she literally dies to Burning Lands. That's disgusting! Because I'm in the losing state. The game considered me the loser in that situation. So I got to Destiny Draw. That's fantastic. 666, I'm the devil now with that burn strategy. I lost your wind, swept me off my feet. Okay, we don't want to pass too much time by leaving because we got to buy more cards today. So let's duel a solo duel against you. Oh, what am I doing? Man, playing burn strategies are, is, is so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. And I don't even have all the pieces to make it even scummier. Maybe for the, the thumbnail, if I can find a higher quality picture of Sadie. It should just be Sadie smiling with Skull Invitation on the side. Or the, or the Toll. Toll burn decks are hilarious. Yes, I love it. Chain Energy is also disgusting. Especially if you're turn one player. Um... Don't know how many things you're gonna set face down. You'll probably attack into this thing, so we'll do that. Hmm... Don't have Skull Invitation yet, but we can put it down. I feel confident I'll have the lead. I'll go for it. The fun part about the burn deck is, um... It could just blow up in your face anyway, and it's funny when you lose any... When you lose that way. So I don't mind. 
He lost his Magician's Valkyria. 300 points. Only one face down card. Ooh, there it is. There it is, chat. Hang on, hang on. Everybody spam the emote and let me put it on screen too. Excellent. Oh God, I can't find my emote slot. Uh, That's not the right one. That's Teddy taking a sip from a cup. Hang on. I mean, Teddy's probably enjoying the show, but he needs to get into costume. There we go. There we go. Yeah! Look at that bear. You hand over all your cookies right now if you won't cross this bridge. Pay the teddy bear toll. I'm so glad this is an emote now. It's so funny. <laughs> Even the lurkers are now posting teddy toll. Everybody loves it. Don't know if I really need Princess yet. You're probably more likely to attack into this. Pay the teddy toll right now. Okay, turn end. Oop. Let me put it away now. Can't post it? Oh, it's a subscriber emote. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Pay it. Pay up, sucker. Pay a little more. <laughs> this is great. Using Dark Snake Syndrome seems like a funny way to... If I can get three copies of Death's Wombat, I should run Dark Snake Syndrome, because that would be so funny to make that happen. Um, play the Wave Motion Cannon. I love slowly chipping away at my opponent's life points. It's disgusting. Uh-oh. Oh, you prioritize wave motion cannon. That's honestly not that bad. <laughs> Boop him for another 500. That's the poison mummy damage right there anyway. Ooh, here comes skull invitation too. Can do that. I'm gonna attack me, but... I'm gonna flip it up anyway. Because I have the lead. It doesn't matter if I lose points off Princess Dying. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you actually gonna use Injection Fairy Lily? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. He paid his toll. I can't really make much of a burn deck with vipers, can I? I don't know. I have no reason, like... I just sent a monster, he has to pay to attack it. It's perfect. <laughs> Ouch. Did he destiny draw? <laughs> he can't do anything. Yo, that's right. I have Gravekeeper Servant up, so Skull Invitation combos with that. Skull Invitation hits you as well, so it can blow up in your face. You think a little Abon mission magician's gonna do anything? You're a fool. Oh, nice. Okay, what are you doing? Wait, what? He sacrificed her to summon Unhappy Maiden? Or send the grave to result to battle. Bro. You can't do a thing. He can't even pay to attack now once his turn starts. He can't afford the toll. He's stuck on the other side of the bridge now. He's stuck in Cleffa Valley. Teddy Bear Woods are off limit. All I have to do is end my turn and the Burning Land finishes him. Do you see why this is disgusting? You just put a couple of wacky effects in the background and you just watch them slowly die while the bear makes them pay to cross the bridge. Ooh, look at that. New high score bonus. What'd I get? Number of opponent's cards removed from the deck. Sick. How can I lose to you? I can't lose to a guy. Come on. Nice. We're gonna get those points back up now. Okay, we're gonna wait for people to show up. Let's check the main gate, and then we'll go back to the store for in a while. Come on, Jaden and Chaz were here before. Is no one here? Oh, dude. 
Oh, hang on, there's people here. I'll duel you solo. Draw. Lose win. Three copies of Koala is like an absolute must. The burn you can get off that thing is can be way way better than normal. Hmm, maybe running two copies of Wave Motion would be okay. I don't really need Grave Kipper Servant this time around. Okay, so we start with two skull invitations. Do this. And we'll put this down. I think next turn I should put Morphing Jar down so I can reset my hand. I don't have Cyber Jar, so I can't reset my hand as easily as the other burn deck. I only get one jar this time. Okay. There's a party going on and we're flipping up invitations. Skull Invitation is what happens when Elise gets invited to the forest in Little Goody Two-Shoes. You shouldn't take that invitation. I wouldn't recommend it. Chainsaw Insect. Oh no. Don't do that. Don't let me draw cards. Unfortunate. Ooh, there's the toll. Okay. Let's activate the toll. And we need a hand refresh, I feel. So we'll go ahead and set Morphin Jar. We'll both take a chunk of burn damage because of the Skull Invitations, though, so I'm going to be at a disadvantage for a bit. Pay the 500. Morphing Jar makes us lose our thing. Ooh, I'll get the draw from Chainsaw Insect after this resolves. Nice. Do you see that? Went off twice because of Morphing Jar, and he took 1,500 or 3,000 just like that. Two Chainsaw Insects. Bro, he's going in. A third skull. Um... If I if he flips Needle Worm, oh, I basically got him with the second toll. Oh, hang on, we can just do that. Hang on a second, he takes the five there. That's gonna be three thousand, then a thousand off that. He'll just have just a little bit enough, but I could also just put Wave Motion Cannon and finish him off from there, right? But will he hit me hard enough if he does that? Honestly, maybe I should just put down Penguin Soldier and play it safe and slow him down by sending these back to his hands. I think I should. Set that one up next turn, I think, and also just go Wave Motion Cannon. Just stall and play it safe. Because I can't have him hit me directly. Wait, what? Oh, right, I can't set. He put Light of Intervention. Oh, God, I didn't even realize he had that up. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't even eye that. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. I can still survive a turn here. I could just play Hamilton. <laughs> I could, actually. Wait, I totally forgot. I can just be scum with Hamilton if I need to. It's not just about the Crystal Beast anymore. Code of Evolution. Okay. But I'd, ha I'd end up discarding this. Mm, I don't really need it in that case, but I'd throw three cards away. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If these all go to the graveyard, though... <laughs> I'll be down to 200. If he has a back row card... Wait, you know what I could do, actually? I could just put Hamilton in, in defense mode. Because if he has, a if he has like, anything to destroy Hamilton, if I attack into him like a battle trap, I lose. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's, a, it's funny that way.
But now I can't play anything because if it wouldn't resolve, it'll go to the graveyard, right? So, honestly, YOLO. YOLO. No! Yeah, game over, man. I went for it. I knew the risks, but I went for it. He had Mirror Force. Oh, no, no, no. We're doing this again, bro. Oh, this reminds me of the time I set up like an FTK Cyber End Dragon and I got Magic Cylindered for 8,000. <laughs> Mirror Force Jump Scare. I went for it. I needed it to happen. It would have been so funny if I won with Hamilton there. Okay, here we go. Okay, we can start with turn one Koala now. That's good. Play the Wave Motion Cannon. Hmm. Set the Skull Invitation. Play the Burning Lands. And now we watch him cry. He's not going to win this time. The Teddies are too strong this time. I forgot to hold down to flip this up. My bad. Take the damage. Gold sarcophagus. Goes. He's trying to get swords. Like, that'll help him. Like, I even need that. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, look at that. Almost on the road to Hamilton right there. I can't set monsters, though, because that stupid light of intervention. Man, if only I'd put down Yomi ship or something, but honestly, I didn't even realize that was there, because half the time you forget this card even exists. Okay, then. Well, I guess all I can do is put this in defense mode, huh? If I flip this... He has no cards in his hand, so it's pretty negligible. How nice of him to play stall. We get him for a thousand here. Just let the wave motion cannon build up. And that's my turn. Come on, bro. You can do it. 500. That goes up. Petite Moth. Oh, man. I can't set my monsters, you scum. <laughs> May as well wait till I draw a dust tornado or something now. Blah. Guess we're just gonna wait for Wave Motion Cannon to finish him. No, no, don't get your swords of revealing light. Anything but that. Okay. Take some more damage, I guess. Old man, no. I mean, I guess. I'm at 3,000. One more turn. One more turn. And then we'll hit him for 4,000. It'd be more... Actually, it'd be really funny if I could just hit him for, hit him for game. Oh, here's the chainsaw insect. Hang on. Do we want to stop that? Mm, actually, yeah. No, he can't damage me enough. I'd rather take the draws to speed it up. We're fine. No. Actually, now that I think about it, the turtle can go back there for um, Hamilton summons as well. That works. Okay. Remember, they won't die off toll, so... One more turn. One more turn, and then we're gonna blast him. And it's gonna be funny. You're gonna laugh how funny it is. He's flipping this up. No, we're not gonna negate it, summon. Ooh, the Economist. He's gonna trade 500 life points to attack for 300 a pop. Hey, Mirror Force. Cool. <laughs> Stonks. Pay the toll, buddy. 
Well now, whatever will I do, chat? Whatever will I do? Here's a return on your investment. I win! I did it. All strategy. Ooh, look at that. 1020. Uh, I got a level up bonus for that as well. No high score bonus, though. How much more muscle do I need to win? There, get back to your workout. That one worked out. Let's duel this guy. You ever use token cards? Let me give you advice. Ba -ba -ba -ba, I don't care. I want to duel you. I hit talk by mistake. <clears throat> real power? I'll show you real power, bro. First to go. Legendary Town. We're gonna have too much fun playing Teddy Toll now, aren't we? I keep drawing Skull Invitation. I'm top decking that thing. He's got his Legendary Ocean. He's got his Sea Serpent Warrior. Well then, let's put this down. Maybe I should let him crash into me with Yomi ship. I'll get more defense, but that won't really matter. Actually, wait. Turtle will also get more defense, and he can't beat over it. That's right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set Turtle for this. I gotta weigh the risk of putting Turtle in the back, so I could potentially, um... Potentially summon Hamilton with it. Let's do it. First, we'll activate this, but I also probably... Oh, really? 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 Bro, that's... Come on! Come on, man! That's like the worst thing you could be playing against me right now. Negate the effects doesn't say destroy them. There's no point in really flipping it up now, is there? Oof, did I get countered? Yes, I did. I got hit by the floodgate. I might need to put it in the back now for Hamilton. This is annoying. This might actually cost me the game. The Teddy Toll will help. Okay, we'll go ahead and set Yomi ship. I should probably just flip up the Skull Invitations, because now they're going to, um... They're, it's going to keep prompting me now. They're not going to get destroyed, but their effects are inactive. Yeah, see? Until the royal decree goes away. We can still do this. We gotta work around it. Deep Sea Warrior. Unaffected by spell cards. No! He, he can skip paying the toll. He's cheating! That poor bear isn't gonna have enough money now because he couldn't collect enough toll. The Deep Sea Scammer is what he is. Dude, I probably lost this one from that one... Oh, damn. I don't have enough. I happen to duel two of the dudes that could just so counter me. I know. Isn't that great? I can just get one more in the field. Hamilton's good to go. Ah, oh, damn it. He can also skip paying the toll. Can only pick Yomi ship. Well, I popped a monster at least, but... Damn, man. Unless I draw, like, Burning Land or something. The toll is not enough. They're taking over. Ugh. Well, you're not really much help, are you? Make another tribute, I hope. Great. Torpedo fish. Hang on. He's tributing. Oh, and of course he could do that. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunate. He had the perfect counter to my deck, so I just got bodied. You have to train more. 
Damn, these two are the worst. Why did they have to be here? Let me have fun with my burn deck. Go back to the store now. Gosh. You guys again? No one else just wants to come here today, apparently. Two copies of Koala, right now. I won't take no for an answer. There we go. Final Flame. That's another one I can use. Oh, hey, another cylinder. But I can only use one. Another Poison Mummy, but we already got lots of those. Doesn't matter. Didn't get what I need. May as well spend all my money, because Sadie probably won't be here tomorrow. I should probably go back to my normal deck, because I have to tag duel tomorrow for the, the tournaments. Chain Burst, Sparks, Destruction Ring. I got more Dark Snake Syndrome. Giant Germ. Ah, I didn't think about that. That would be a good way to get bodies out and thin my deck. Another wave motion cannon. That's good. There's actually some quick, easy stuff here that'll help. I don't think I put secret barrel in now that I think about it. Effects are activated for five reports damage for each effect monster in the field. What am I like? What's my DP at? 7,500. Another Just Desserts. That's my third copy of that. Two, three, four. Okay, that works just fine for now. I'm not pulling any more copies of Wombat, though. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make a quick edit. What do I not need now? A card frame. Gravekeeper Servant isn't really cutting it. Creature Swap doesn't, hasn't really come up yet. I want the... Hang on. This one usually blows up in my face. Hmm. Put a second wave motion cannon in. Where is it? There it is. And... I do want just desserts, don't I? Hang on. Is this one you want to run at three? I mean, it's quick and easy burn damage, really. And what to get rid of, what to get rid of. Twin Behemoth has been kind of a brick so far. Mm, Dust Tornado, I kind of need some kind of back row removal. We're going to save this for now and try it again later. Spear Creighton can't really do anything without other effects going on. There we go. For now, let me, let me save this again. Save recipe. Save the Teddy Toll. User recipe's been saved. Now let's load back to the normal deck. Okay, have I pulled any extra staples for this? I have Magic Cylinder now, so I should add that in. What has been pretty poopy for this so far? I don't even know if I really need Twin-Headed Behemoth. There was just kind of a body I splashed in here, too. So let me get Magical Cylinder. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I see it. Jesse's card should be okay for this, too. Hmm... I feel like what I can replace these because they don't synergize with Crystal Beasts either. Hmm. I wonder if I should move towards more of um. At this point, I don't really need much of a wind deck. Just a few winged beasts to splash in with Icarus attack. So I could move towards a different kind of beatdown strategy that would synergize more with Crystal Beasts. I wonder if I should just like start playing more Crystal Beast cards in general. Or maybe just make a deck that focuses on getting Hamilton out. Like, maybe I could run it at three and just actually put in a few couple copies of Toll. Jesse would probably eat her life points using it, though, but... Mm. 
I feel like it would be pretty viable to try and get Hamilton out. For now, I know this one's working. Do this here. And let's go do some dueling, because no one else is showing up in any of the damn locations I want to actually go to. How about the cliff, maybe? Oh, look, there's actually people here. Enzo and Shannon. Alrighty then, a duel, if you want to duel you that badly, do tag duel. Hamilton is so fun when it comes out, it's stupid. When Hamilton gets summoned, the whole duel just becomes stupid, for sure. I need more burn cards. We're on the right track, but we need more. More. Summoner medley, burning away. I thought Enzo was living it up. Wait, did Enzo get a burn deck instead of a life point deck? If I could get three copies of Crystal Pegasus, or sorry, Sapphire Pegasus, that would also help a lot, wouldn't it? Set the bottomless trap hole. Mm, do I need Ryza right here? Just MST one of your back row. That's it, you're getting booped. Wall of Revealing Light. Okay, good enough for me. Throw down Luster Dragon. Crystal Pegasus would be okay for beatdown. Oh, of course you have that. There we go. Okay, hit it with this. Let him keep getting summoned. Alrighty, end phase. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop it, because that thing just beats over everything. Lightning Vortex! That's not good. Yeah, put in the back row. Harbuncle gets summoned, and then he just gets to pop a bunch of friends to the field. Crystal Pegasus, Sapphire Pegasus does that. Well then, Jesse just swarmed the damn field. Okay, this is fine. We can just easily beat over it. He threw away his Call of the Haunted just to stop one attack, when he's already at 10,000 life points. Cure Mermaid. I thought that said Cute Mermaid for a second. Well then. I'll face up level 4 higher monsters are in defense position. Uh, hang on, let me look at it, please. 800. Carbuncle's not beating over that. So I could just tribute to put down Ryza, and then just throw this back, and then just to hit him for a bunch of damage. Carbuncle can kind of go right now, so that would be fine. And because it's a tag duel, we'll have to wait for the an alternating turn to happen for this to happen. Select card. Okay, do that. Unfortunately, I can't change Ryza to attack position as it is now. Swap that. No! No! I don't want to do the eagle's effect. No! Whatever. Send Carbuncle. Nobody wants to ever use the eagle's effect. I hate that it's even there. The only time you use it is when you accidentally use it. Ah, whatever. Goodbye, Carbuncle's pesky 300 attack power. Now it's just floating in my deck for now. Well, that's that. Activate the effect of Eagle. Alrighty. I'm just gonna throw that back there for now. Crystal Blessing. And now he gets all those things back. The AI didn't really care about Ryza there, I guess. Probably because it could do more damage attacking the other one. Ah, great. Yeah, that's back now. They slowed me down too much, so I couldn't really do much about it. 
And now I can play Hamilton. However, I can't do anything about that until Dust Tornado comes into effect. So I basically can. One, two, three. Perfect. Um, special summoned. Okay, so that doesn't matter too much. I'll just set this for now. Because it's something to use with Icarus Attack, but I'm not really drawing Icarus Attack now. So for now, we'll just end turn. Um, maybe I should wait for his turn to end. Okay, he's end phasing, so now I'm gonna go ahead and break the level limit. Pop him. There is no target in your hand. I'm aware, game. With the eagle in attack mode. Yes, that's right. Oh, come on, not that thing again. Maybe I should get three copies of the uh, Nimble Mamanga for the burn deck. Giving myself the life point advantage does help because of how many of my cards burn myself a bit. We got one direct attack. Ooh, he got nothing. I hope that's not a mirror force. I'm gonna cry if it's a mirror force. Well, let's do it. I could hit him exactly for 4,000, but... 1,400. 1,400. Yeah, he got nothing. It's a bluff. It's an absolute bluff. Yeah, I know. I wanted to run three copies of Giant Germ as well. Those things within the deck can kind of give me the life point lead for sure. Well, they slowly get burned. What pack is Giant German? I just pulled it, right? It was Sadie. Duelist bonus. Hmm, you're pretty good. Pretty busy guy, never turned down a duel. Okay. I think I want to head to bed now so I can just try the tournament because we're running out of time for today. We're gonna use my reg current regular deck. We'll get some dual points doing the tournament. We'll end this stream by trying this out. Hey, I came to get you. There's a dual tournament today. Go to the tournament? Yes. Wow, everyone's already left. Come on, let's hurry up and go. Which tournament would you like to join? Go back to yellow one. Go there. The mausoleum, root power. Do they have Trinity? Okay, they all have their level two decks, yeah. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Last time we got bodied a little bit. First. Root power two, mausoleum two. Mausoleum of the Emperor is annoying because I don't really play anything that can take advantage of its effect. Okay, Rainbow Ruins is good. We throw that down. We set a card. Bazoo the Soul... The Soul Eater. Ah. Couldn't read that because it flipped over too fast. Oh, nice. Heavy Storm. Uh, you can remove from play up to three monster cards from a graveyard to increase the attack of this card by 300 points for each card removed from play. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, this effect can only be used once during your turn. Okay, then. Just hammer shot it. Do I want to get rid of those things? He summoned Bazoo with nothing in the grave. Hmm, I don't really need to heavy storm because I get rid of the ruins because there's no back row crystal beast. Yeah, I think I'll just hammer shot him. If he's gotten battle traps, I'll be just fine here. We'll set this and we'll set the eagle and not activate its stupid effect by mistake. Get him. Be gone, Knave. Okay. It's sent back to the thing. That is a problem. Next turn. Let me use up my magic cylinder first. Yeah, this should be okay. Hang on. Smashing grounds. Okay. Now that we have one Crystal Beast in the back row, Rainbow Ruins has protection from Heavy Storm. 
Marauding Captain now gets to summon Exiled Force. Uh, no, the other one. It's not gonna be a whole lot of damage, is it? want to use it, or is he... I don't know if he has really heavy hitters, though. I'm just going to use it. Because I'm going to heavy storm next turn anyway. Hit him for some chunks of damage. Oh, he put his whole hand down. This is perfect. This is okay. This is good. Crystal Beacon. Uh, okay. Bro, he's swarming the field now. Is he... What, what are you doing? <laughs> All that to get hit by Sakuretsu. Fantastic. Good job, Jesse. Look at all that battle damage we're taking now. You happy? Wait. I'm going to be able to do a draw. He's sending them all back? No, not quite. There's three there now. Ah, oh, crap. Do I want to do that? Hang on. Hold up. You see, three, you can send one Crystal Beast once you control the graveyard to negate the activation of a spell or trap card and destroy it. Okay, that's cool, but I mainly just need to... Wait, didn't Jesse have Hamilton in his hand? He did, didn't he? So there's no reason for me to really do this. Because if we can hit him for damage, Hamilton can just, like, well, uh... Can just hit for game. Sakuretsu armor was just used up, so I could probably be okay. Mm, I can put you in defense mode and attack with Harpy Queen. Now let's summon this. Let's get him. Damn it. Oh, wait. I kind of forgot I could do that. Sure. We'll send the tortoise away for that. We're wide open, but he's not going to be able to hit me for one... Yeah, hit me for a uh, game now. And I don't have any way to summon anything else. I'll set this. I don't think he can use it, though. Okay, Jesse, I need you to play Hamilton. I need you to play Hamilton. Come on. Okay, he's Rhoda. Marauding Captain. We're gonna win this tournament. You can't stop me. Teddies are about to win. Okay. No, not for this one. Be gone. At one sentry just saying, get lost. Activate the ruins. Come on, Jesse, you can do it. Play it. Play it. Play it. No, 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 play it. Just play Hamilton. Jesse. Okay. Maybe you should have did those in a different order, but whatever. We win. We win. You just give me a heart attack. I thought he was going to throw it away. I thought he was going to throw it away. We did it. Teddy's win. Okay, look, get out of here, losers. We just won. Now it's time for you chumps. Only real difference from last week is that for this deck, I have Magic Cylinder now. I can't remember what happened last time I did this, the uh, Raw Yellow Tournament. Wasn't... I think Jesse did something really silly that cost us the game, and I was upset about it, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so far so good. The burn deck does not synergize with Jesse. We would not win if I tried to use it here. Okay, hang on. Okay, we got Tortoise, and we got... Really? You put Abundance face down? Okay, then. Hmm. Is it really worth using Big Bang for any of these? Not really. 
Oh yeah, he had the turtle and then he just didn't like set it for some reason. Here we go. Oh, uh, hi there. Uh, thank you, Twisted Squid Evil, for gifting a hundred subs. That's a very, <laughs> that's a lot to just kind of casually dump into chat. Thank you very much. Holy moly, that's a wall of sub notifications. I had to process that. It's like, was that 10? No, it was actually 100. Thank you very much, friend. Hang on, I need to scroll all the way back down to see other... <laughs> to see the rest of chat now. Oh, thank you very much there. Appreciate it. I don't know who this person is. They're not sub, they've never posted in chat, but they like me enough to give 100 gift subs, so that's pretty cool. Wanted to help with the Teddy emotes. I appreciate that very much. That better, that should have at least one slot, but that's a whole lot to just gift. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Well, then. Everybody, if you got gifted a sub, now you can spam bear emotes. I'm gonna check right after the stream is done if I can, if I can put in uh, another slot. And thanks to Yo-Yo for gifting a sub to the person who just gifted 100 subs. And now we're getting hype train notifications. Sorry, I needed to stop and acknowledge that. Even the YouTube audience knows you can't just, like, stop and ignore something like that, I hope. Anyways, I'm gonna put the eagle down in attack mode. I'm not gonna use Big Bang, because it's too weak. And now everybody's giving stuff. Oh, hang on. I'm getting the big Twitch bells and whistles. Yeah, you watch on YouTube. I assume as much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate that people love my streaming enough to enjoy it like this. I'm worried I'm going to accidentally click a wrong thing. I almost clicked yes on Eagle's effect. What's going on? Ah, darn it. Yeah, we would have tied if I activated that. That's fine. Okay. Okay, okay. Everybody's giving gifts now. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody loves Teddy Bear Toll. An emote you can now spam if you're one of the 100 lucky people there. Chat is going wild with generosity. Everyone's in the Christmas spirit. Okay, Heavy Storm just got activated, which is pretty poopy. I lose... I only really lose Shadow Spell there. Look at that. And thanks for gifting bits, everybody. We've set an all-time record for uh, the Twitch hype train. I don't think that's getting beaten. I don't think anyone's just going to come in the chat and gift 100 subs. Oh, I still can't believe you did that. That's a uh, really... Thank you very much, friend. I was saying literally earlier that whether you're a commenter, a chatter, or just a lurker, you're all appreciated here. There we go. Level 12. Yeah, you better savor that notification, chat. We're never hitting that level of hype train again. That only happens if I'm, like, playing League of Legends with, like, 10,000 people here. Heck yeah. Don't know who gifted the sub. Someone just showed up and was Santa Claus to everybody. Twisted Squid Evil. I should say their name. I should at least say that. Heck yeah. Think of all the trading cards you can buy with that amount of sub money. Oh, I can summon Hamilton. Hold up. They have any effects to stop me? Discard the graveyard. If this card is on the field, this game is how you destroy this card. Okay, that's good. And then... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry, I'm very distracted in this duel right now for obvious reasons. <laughs> Wish golly. Anyway, we seem to be good. The only thing... Yeah, this is a hand effect. This card is on the field without that. We can just play Hamilton and just really just decimate him now. This is perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Well, thank you for enjoying the streams, friend. A part of me always gets, like, slightly nervous when someone shows up and, and gifts a bunch of subs, though. Because I, I worry about someone doing that, demanding I play something else, and getting upset... <laughs> Here we go. I, I hear about that happening quite often. You're not doing that, and I don't expect you to. I'm just worried, because I've, I've heard horror stories. Excellent. Let me see here. Everyone's gifting more gifts. 
Everybody's in the giving spirit now. Look at that. More subs. How many did we get to? I'm sorry. I need to stop and check now. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. You just boosted us all. We're close to the 400 mark now because of that. Sick. People are so generous here. Ain't that nice? Anyways, I need to I need to focus on the duel. We're in a tournament. Mm, I don't want to give this to Hamilton. I think I'll go ahead and just buff Silphied now. And now that's on you, so we're fine here. We're going to go into the battle phase now, and we're going to let Hamilton hit something. Mainly you, because you have that annoying armor. Perfect. Every time I glance over at chat, people are gifting even more subs. It's out of control. You can't stop the generous bears. This is like the opposite of that one part in Banjo-Kazooie, where all the little polar bears are crying because they don't have presents. Instead, everyone is giving out presents right now. <laughs> Thanks for gifting this up there, Papa. I can't help- I can't handle all these thank yous at the moment. There's too many. Hmm. This is everybody paying the teddy bear toll now. That's what's happening. Heck yeah. Here I was before starting the stream. Not even sure if I wanted the stream because I didn't even know what I wanted to play and if I was playing enough. And then I turn on episode seven of playing Yu-Gi-Oh for four hours and bam, all the gift subs. Moments like these, the chat window is so small because the size of the uh, PSP screen. The PSP screen. Yes, that's what we're calling it. How is he not dead yet? Like, look at this field. He gave up all his life points for that. Wow, he really wanted that Pegasus dead before he went down. <laughs> Sorry, did I miss him being at zero attack, attacking into Hamilton? Oh, are you talking about last episode? Okay, I get you. I literally win. Teddy's win right here. Jesse missed 4k damage going for Hamilton's burn effect. Ah, that's why it didn't finish. I'm just gonna do this and finish him with the burn. We got to eat we got to hype level 12 on the Twitch train. So for a YouTube audience that doesn't know what the Twitch hype train is, when people gift subs, it levels up a thing and like unlocks a bunch of bells and whistles, right? So the more people sub, uh, it, it's basically to encourage people to keep subbing so that they unlock more things well before the timer depletes. And because someone just gifted a hundred, that it, now everyone's gifting more to watch it go up. <laughs> Because it instantly went to, like, level 11. Now it's at level 12. I'm doing a terrible job explaining it. But now there's a there's a wacky duck emote you can spam. Holy moly. Crystal bears are the winners. Excellent. Perfect. Body blast to cycle of life. We've gotten defeated by these guys a few times. I think they have effects that, like, uh, together can be a little annoying for us, but let's just go for it. We made really good progress today. We have the burn deck started. We're really just ending on the note of the tournament, and then we're gonna do a little Valhalla to end the day on. Excellent. Holy moly, I need a drink. Look at all that, look at all that duck emote. Now that we're at Twitch hype level 7, or 12. Okay, Rainbow Ruins. Chad is spamming all the emotes. He didn't MST the back row. Is this who beat us last time? All right, let's find out then. Boop, 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 boop. Next player's turn. Well, I got Dust Tornado. Ah, uh, that's a lot of cards in the back row. Boop this one. Oh, it's Dark Coffin. Oh, that's literally the worst one I could have bopped. Discard one card at random. Destroy one of your monsters. Ah. Uh, I'll destroy my monster because I can at least get Crystal Beast in the back row for that. 
to it. Yeah, you leave for five minutes and come back to bears? Yes, you got gifted a sub. Wacky shenanigans have just ensued. Well, I'm probably going to be attacking into something silly, aren't I? Hmm. Question is, what do I want to put face down? I think I'll go with this first. Don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, but... Mm, let's try and put Eagle down, because if it gets destroyed, we can set up for a Hamilton summon. Don't even know what ha what's happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! You're here for my soothing voice. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Excellent. I feel like in today's streamer age, I don't even know how I'm keeping up. I'm turning into an old man. Give it another another year, and I'll just get a VTuber icon for the, the bottom right. That'll make me hip. And I can make it and I can keep growing from there. Excellent. Oh man. Okay then. That is unfortunate. At least he can do this. We're gonna need a heavy storm now. Or Hamilton on the board. Hang on, it looks like we might be able to attack just fine here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. There we go. I don't have anything wrong with the, the VTuber trend. I think it's neat. Lots of people enjoy it. You see now. I know they're really expensive, though. If you want it set up just right. You see here. Everybody, what I like about that, though, is everyone who makes a VTuber, they make them so ridiculously over the top that it's enjoyable. Like, everyone is, like, like Yu-Gi-Oh! level hair and ridiculous amounts of accessories. I love it. Let's see. I mean, like any streamer, it depends on the person, right? Do you find them entertaining? Here we go. You see. Magic Essence, Reason to Live... I know there's like a whole corporation of multiple ones now, and I just, I don't think I really get that. That just seems like weird to me. Let me see. Win, lose. First, go. Tag duel. Let's see if we can win. Ooh, Mirror Force turn one. Maybe we can win this one this time. So, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, in order to get that lady to stop standing on the card, you have to do the, the Slifer tournament, and that's the only point that she's not standing on it on that map. A legally distinct Teddy Ursa is just a Teddy Ursa wearing a bandana with my logo on it covering the moon. Yes, it is. Very much so. Well, heck yeah. But the problem now is Messenger of Peace is activated... Hmm. I could set up to destroy it with Icarus attack. Harpy Queen could get sent to the graveyard, then I could eventually special summon you. So yeah, I like this idea. We'll go with it for now. I'm kind of scared to put all my cards on the field, though. We got Mirror Force. We don't also need Cylinder down. We don't need to send Messenger of Peace to the top of the deck. Because that won't matter much. Okay. Getting into the hair gel business is the best possible thing you can do in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I feel that. The monster gets the fallen effects while there's a monster with the attributes on the field. Earth, negate the effect of an effect monster. If this card destroys opponent's monster by battle, can attack it again in a row. I think what we should do, since Jesse's going to take over, we'll use Icarus attack, and we'll pop Messenger of Peace and his monster. If I don't activate it, Jesse will. I just know how he has how his AI works, but he won't activate Crystal Raigeki, literally ever. Perfect. Nice. He really wants to attack with that turtle. Ah, damn it, now it's stuck in attack mode. At least he takes 3,000 points of damage activating that. The AI always picks 3k. Wait, what? Wait, why did he put the- Why did you put that in defense mode, bro? He's going for Trial of the Princess? Oh, no, it's the waifu guy. Why does he have those two? Whatever. 
Anyway. Hmm. Hold up a second. I can just put that... Oh, yeah, I think we got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Hang on. We'll sacrifice Turtle. We got it. I feel... I can't tell how different the AI really is in this game compared to Tag Force 1, but I feel like there have been some quality goofs made by them. Let's do it. Wasn't that Bastion's crush card? Yeah, yeah, we don't need to talk about that. Bastion's a, a weird guy. He had to leave the show for reasons. There we go. Yeah, I win. Nice. They're on. We got him. You win. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. I think there's like one team left. I'm not playing that many spell cards. You really need a certain deck for that. Crystal Bears are the winners. Getting close to the 10k mark for this. There's nothing hidden here that you can get. You can't walk past this way. Only a little bit. Burning away. Oh, I literally just dueled these guys a little while ago. I should be okay. Excellent. Win! We're gonna go first, because it really doesn't matter for me, because I never actually get to make the first turn. Ever. Jesse always gets to go first in tag duels. Okay. Got the Sapphire Pegasus starter. Yeah, Bastion didn't do anything. In the first season, he was... It seemed like they were building him up, and then after that, they just kind of, like, ignored his existence. The writers just got bored of him or whatever. Um, Crystal Raigeki. Mm, I could... I need to get rid of level limit area B, I feel. So, yeah, we could Crystal Raigeki that. Oh, that's right. Exonia would be all right for 20 spells. I found some of the pieces... Let me guess, is that lady standing on um, one of the Exodia pieces? Because I found all of them around. There we go. If, uh, don't be weird and gross talking about Bastion. Come on. We're going to pop this. Cure Mermaid. Mm, that back row is not really that big of a deal. Don't want all our eggs in one basket. Scared I was gonna activate the effect like I did with Eagle. I'm scared to change Eagle's position because of that. 1700. I think I'm gonna actually win this tournament. All it takes is one heavy storm, and I'll cry if I set everything down. Um, is it really worth it to destroy Solemn Wishes? I feel like it's not. Exodia is good for that many sp that many spell cards is because you have to play a lot of spell cards if you want that to work. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of the ocean. We absolutely want to get rid of that. If it has no protection, good. Is Royal Magical Library at three in this game? I'm not even sure if I can get it. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's sh put the shadow spell down. We've done this. We've just become Team Magma. We remove the ocean. Ancient city, rainbow ruins. Oh, I wonder if anyone's ever made like a hack for Pokemon Gen 3, where you get to play as um, Team Magma or Aqua. That'd be kind of neat. 1600. Damn, nice. Just barely finished him off. Hold up, what was Jesse's hearts at? Um, the boost, when you win the tournament, you get to deepen your bond with your partner. I may as well do that. I don't think it's a full heart you get for that, though. Crystal Bears are the winners. Losing team, scram. Okay. Oh, looky here. The last team standing is Asprey and Jesse. Talk about a great pair. I believe the card pool is completely random, so there's no points. Ooh, 4,000. Sick. 
Oh, we don't get the turn. Oh, only the Slifer tournament lets you deepen your bonds. Oh, I get it anyway. Sick. Hold up. You're making sprites for a soul link with a friend where they play as a team Aqua Grunt and you get to play as a team Magma Grunt. That's cool. Came to get you. I bought this and I thought it might have a card you want. Rip it open and let's see. Dark Elf. Rite of Spirits. Gravekeeper's Curse. Tricky's Magic. Oh, he gave me a piece of Gate Guardian. I, I guess we need that eventually. Gora, the Turtle of Illusion. Creeping Doom, Manta. Jam Defender. Penguin Knight. Knight. Oh! I actually needed that for the burn deck. Sick. Thank you, Jesse. Still standing on that, I see. Okay. So, we got a lot activated. It looks like Jesse's close to um, getting his heart filled out. I have been playing this almost four hours, though. It probably is a good point to take a break. I've, I've done my usual time. Save completed. Oopsie. Save complete again. I usually go for about three to four hours with this with this game. Anyways, I'm glad you're all enjoying it. Again, when I started today, uh, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I was a little demotivated, but I'm glad I streamed. I mean, even if you exclude the fact that someone randomly showed up and gave 100 gift subs. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I like held back a sneeze there. Yes, thank you again for that, Twisted Squid Evil. I really appreciate it. Alrighty. It's late at night, so we're going to play a little bit of uh, the, the Cyberpunk Bartender game next to, uh, to unwind and end. Done our four hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll definitely do some more of this on the weekend. About two streams of this during the week has been a pretty good pace. You guys are, are getting tired of it. Anyways, I hope you all have been enjoying this so far. We're going to take a break on Twitch here, though. Have a good night, and bye-bye.